8. The new day for real talk. So join Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo on a Friday night, 9 to 12, for real talk. The show where we discuss all that's real and nothing ideal. Only on Styles FM. Good night, everybody. Good Friday night to you. Welcome to the show. And you are also welcome to Styles FM Radio. And the show is Real Talk with Lady Cleo, yours truly, and Daddy Rude. And tonight, guys, it's the show where we discuss everything real and nothing ideal. Of course, you're listening to us. We're coming to you live from your North Eastern radio station and of course your northeastern parish rather of Portland, Jamaica, West Indies, and to all our friends right here in Jamaica, all our great listeners right here at Yard, we want to big you up tonight and say hey. We're glad, we're happy you are on board as per usual. So all our friends right here in cool, picturesque Portland. Big ups to you. You are tuning into your yard, your real, real yard station. And to all our friends, by extension, our neighboring parishes of St. Anne and St. Saint Mary immediately, St. Anne, and of course to the East, St. Thomas. Big ups to you as well. Other persons in other parts of the island, Clarendon and all those other places that are listening to us, big you up. And all our friends right here at Yard too, who are listening and watching via the internet, right? We want to say, hey, two thumbs up to you right now. See them there? Thumbs up, yeah? And all our peeps overseas, you two, of course, you are all in the mix because it's one big, strong Styles family. And as we mentioned overseas, let me just say a big shout out to our friends in the Bronx, New York, on the 92.1 FM. Those streaming Styles FM live 24 7. They're and they're called Styles. Yes, okay, Styles. Listeners in New York can tune into Styles in the Bronx, of course, on the 92.1 FM. So, of course, we make provisions for everybody everywhere because at styles the world listens all right so all our friends on our social media pages and of course those in brooklyn let, let me not leave you out on the 91.3 fm all right and our social media peeps i know people who put up them foot pan you know cut them tin and all these things and i eat something on the pan them tablet and all these things and them laptop and them just yeah i all am medi with the Styles FM crew all the time and the real talk, one and a half psychopaths, all right? Yeah. Remember now, I'm the half, <laughs> partially sane. So all our friends on social media, we check out YouTube. Go to Styles FM Radio. On Instagram, you can follow us at Styles FM. On Twitter, it's at Styles FM 961. And check out that Facebook page. Styles FM 96.1. All right, and go to the fan page. And if it is that you want to text us later on in the show or call us, that local number is 4531444. That's 4531444. And to all our friends who normally WhatsApp us on that very same number, please, I'm going to ask you tonight to resend your names because, of course, you know technology has its way sometimes when it fails so our sy the system went down and we want to get back your names to re you know add them to our contact list so please tonight send your name along with your whatsapp messages to four five three one triple four all right thanks guys and those of us who those of you who listen to us or want to call in on the international line that number is 954-338-7973 that's 954-338-7973 and of course pleasant night to my dear engineer so none other than the silent assassin cassidy good night your head look bald <laughs> money man styling oh look here when you don't have no money you have ear on your head check out rude i'm getting there yeah <laughs> Rude, what's up? 
I, I'm working on the having the money. You're working on having the money. That's why it's only yeah. partially bald. Yeah. Okay, and, cool. And, I'm also, Get it. and I also need to work on keeping it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and before I go any further with you, let me just remind our friends of the USA, the UK, and the Canada on the go numbers. Thank you, Cassidy. 712. 712- 832-2772. That's the USA on the go number if you want to listen in to us, right? Uh, in the UK, it's 033-0010-3322. That's 033-0010-3322. And if you're in Canada, that one is 647-957-9637. And I don't want to forget, you know. So let me say, happy birthday, people. Happy birthday. It's my dog's birth. I can't call him dog tonight. Big up, big up, big up, big up. Big up yourself, Pitbull. Big up, big up, Yeah, big up. takes me here pretty much every single night and pick up. Big up yourself. Hope you enjoy your day and live to see holy more earth strong, my friend. Don't drink too much tonight because you got to take me home. Okay? All right. But enjoy the night and, of course, many more years. All righty. And big ups to my peeps, my friends who are listening in Connecticut, in Atlanta, Georgia. Big ups to Gracie. Big ups to Diane Green. Can I? Yes. Diane Green Valentine. Yes, yes, yes. Big ups to you guys. Big ups to Shelly. Big ups to Shelly who holds things down in my absence more time than not. Yeah, big up yourself, Shell, Shell, Shelly. We haven't heard from her in a while. Ah, yeah, man, she's about. She's about. I mean, I see her right here. I'm a glance already, you know, but I mean, I see her on this texting thing here. What, me, what, me, Shelly? Yeah, so tonight we have a great show for you. And Daddy Rude, want you tell me what's going on for your week? Oh, <laughs> my week was. Because you are pink out, stripe out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Candy yeah, stripe. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to. You feel sweet tonight? <laughs> <laughs> you can't answer that one, can you? <laughs> Look, my week was my week was crazy. Um, really, when we say when we say, uh, just my week was stupid. Stupid? Straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up, stupid. How do you manage to do stupid in one t- in one breath? It was just stupid. Cause you are crazy. And then your week was Fridays. stupid. Oh Lord. Okay. No. I, how should I put this down? So many things happen. Mm-hmm. Let me t- start with the worst part. Oh, Lord. Um, my daughter, she got some allergy stuff. Oh, oops. So, she woke up, she got like, what kind of, you know, some kind of sore throat and she got doctor and them gave her some medication that she must gargle her throat and blah, blah, this and. <clears throat> Sometime in the middle of the night, she was getting this allergic reaction, eyes swollen, lips swollen, all oh kind my. of stuff, and blah, Poor blah, blah. Momo. You know? So that was kind of scary and things. So she never get to go to school. Thursday. Mm-hmm. All is well now still. Thank but God. here is the problem part. One night, may I sleep. Mm-hmm. And usually, she fall asleep in a fair room and she come in our room. So I look across and me not see her. I'm like, Jano Star, where, 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 more in it. I mean, I see, you know, I'm yeah. used because usually I come sleep between me and moms. And in about, say, 30 seconds after that, me, bloop. Oh, my goodness. I said, hold on. Karen drop off my bed. Uh, I'm like, more in it, fly up. I said, Jano Star. So I flip her up and put her, put her between the two away and think, because that's where she normally, no, mm-hmm. normally is. So now I wonder if she hit her head and or anything. And she said she just oh, said, No, I didn't hit my head and blah blah blah. So that the morning no. And did it because um, um my sister in law was there. So I'm said to her, I said, Boy, L. You know, so Karen pushed me in half my bed last night. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Why couldn't you? Why couldn't you? Tap the light on Karen. <laughs> Tap the light on Karen. If he's here, you. <laughs> no, I don't mean. No, she, remember, she wasn't. I, me never see her at all, so, so she wasn't between us. So she was on the oh, on the outskirts, uh, on the end, right? Where, oh. where Karen was. So, so Mr. Karen, why you push me in half my bed? <laughs> I know. I'm not laughing, you know. <laughs> no. The way you're saying it makes, makes me laugh. I'm not laughing at the situation. No, when the whole thing stupid was like, so why, you know, kind of think. 
Mila no wa mila no. Sa mga kaya lepo si Pina Faber no. Maybe she was in a dream. It was all a dream. So, so I don't know how the hell did she actually make me convince her. <laughs> you see, I knew something wasn't right there. You know. <laughs> so she did that. But oh boy. One, of the, one of the weirdest part about the week is that we make some shake. Right. You, you made shake? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, most mornings I have a oh, breakfast. I'm going to say one kitchen um, something boy yesterday now. Yeah. You kind of um, domesticated almond, like that. What's yeah. the name? Almond, almond milk. Almond milk. Okay. And um, oats and some kind of um, razor brand something something. Oh, yeah. So, so you're going with healthy kind of sta- lifestyle. Yeah. yeah, man. And blend up that with banana and, and drink that. Mm-hmm. So I think I see him. I went to my WhatsApp for Cassidy. Wednesday. I think I went Wednesday morning. So, make the shake and me I drink my shake. I'm a so John no star. Cause you know raisins in, in it. Mm-hmm. I'm a say to myself, <laughs> oh the raisin reach by the outside of the cup. <laughs> you know how when, when, when the raisin, you know normally when when I drink something, only like more water left funny. And you would turn the cup and thing. I'm a say, how oh, the raisin are the on the side of the cup there. <laughs> so I'm go and drink, you know. I'm a say the raisin move. I say hold on. <laughs> Without the roll off. Oh, Jesus. Yes. You had a stupid week for you, I swear. Let me look, yes. <laughs> no, I fly. There was part of my lip, my, my left little lip, lip, lip sitting. <laughs> yes. Nobody can tell me, say, I don't want fish fly that. How you figure up where a man lit there? Oh, Jesus, ever. The fly yeah, don't it's care. A, it's a flies, fish fly. Flies don't care like that. They go anywhere, pon no. anything, anytime. My girl, no, man. You can't say a man left in lip mark pon somebody and you go there. You must burn up, bro. <laughs> Listen, my back, my back. It no, could be a female fly. Listen. It's me, a flyers. Straight up. I'm not going on the people. I murder that. I'd expect you to. Yeah, man. I deal with that proper, man. Proper, <laughs> proper, proper. You, you know, you know, like a musket or sweat or something? Yes. I eat me yours. Sweat that. Yeah, man. Kind of, then. You know. Pam lip residue. <laughs> I'm going to take a look at you and say, you're too... This you're, week you're, couldn't you're, get any stupider. You're, you're too nice. You're too nice and boop. And then you know, flick over right where the good somebody don't drink it sitting. Oh, Jesus. Because I never know if so I fly. I drink me, I drink me, I say, boy, I so you almost eat, you, you almost drink him? In the pan, the other side, him and me, yeah, yeah, make something. Or she, you almost drink her. I don't know what. <laughs> I'm I I make something. You know, you, 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 know were having you, a, you were having a moment. You know, we have two yai and fly, I have most about one zillion yai so in a day. Why do you feel so you must, must have a healthy, healthy punch? The fly wants some healthy too. No, fly, fly. Listen, remember we fly. <laughs> yeah. I was in class and telling my kids Sin, yes. talking about bacteria and, and germs and diseases. And we're talking no, about no, the flies. Why me? And we said that the flies use their mouth and their feet to transfer the germs. You know that fly. When they yes. pitch on, you know what? Yes. So poor me never did make four with the well, well uh, me, me had two and him a couple more. Where was it coming See? from? You know. Me don't know where the fly come from. Mm-mm. You don't want to know neither. Me murder that man. Yes, <laughs> man. Yes. You know I sweet part about the murder too. Look here. You know I sweet part about the murder too. Yes. <laughs> Some comes a boom and touch him with the mosquito swatter. He end up and dropping a little residue left in a cup. Oh, so Jesus. So we get a little hot water. Oh, Jesus. So I said, Road Boy. You killed it twice. I said, A vengeance between me and the man. He's a fish fly. So you're having a moment with a fly? Yeah, Eye me, contact moment. Me and him eyes contact. Oh, Jesus. Me and him have it out. Because I just feel violated. Violated, which you? Yeah, man, he broke me up. Yeah. And then to think where he was coming from. My exactly. Lord. Right Mm-mm. off a sitting. Mm mm. Want to get your germs in? So it is so convenient with the Vox Pop tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so convenient with the Vox Pop tonight. Right? Well, so you can imagine uh, a flyer come out for that something there. Well, oh, Jesus. Mm. And pitch by the next side of the cup and I come looking at your face and I... I had to kill it. Mm-hmm. Want to fly over pitch by your lipid? Talk it don't go there. Don't. <laughs> yes. I, as Yo. I'm here asking where that thing came from for you, please don't Seriously, go there with me. That happened with, that happened to because everybody. Trust me, when my kids and I were talking and they say we read it and we were discussing that the flies transfer germs, and then I said to them, You ever happen for you, you know, be eating your food? And the fly all come and you leave for a moment, a moment un- uncovered. And the fly, you just, when you look back, you just see the fly coming off of your food. And they're like, Miss, 
And like, pitch on your face and on your lip. And same time, I remember, oh, one fly all pitch on my lip already. I said, yeah, man, fly pitch on my lip. the worst thing, man. You said, fly pitch on your lip, road boy. All for two hours, you still like, I feel like the fly the pain. So, oh, you mash up your meds. Psychology. You mash up your mash meds. Up for chew, 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 chew. Right? You feel your the hand same way. You feel awful, let alone so, on your lips. So, when me do that fly the water, me know, say, God, do judge me, you know, all against me, but me really and truly have him up. <laughs> me have up the fly. Oh, boy. So, this week was really, 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 really a crazy. And to emphasize that and to reinforce that, Gracie says that the road, you know, normal, which we already knew. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the, the reminder, Gracie. And of oh. course, Andrew, not Andrew, Richard. I, I, I think that's um, that 38770050. Um, send me your name. Me know the, the, the picture there. But Daddy Rude, Ed no good enough. I swear, I swear it too, honey. I swear it too. And Richard says, of course, he is under work. And him have two and a half more hours to drive. And boy, are we are keep him company. And of course, him big way up. Big up yourself too. And Man, bless, bless up, up. Cassidy. Bless up, Richard. All right. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. So I went, it's almost 9.30, but, but I went to the Fine Fusion venue today. Mm -hmm. Me and Shelly. Because mm -hmm. Shelly's going to um, be one of our mixologists. Right. And me can't tell you, uh, me was a picture of the whole thing. If all things work out well and all of this suffering for, we're supposed to be there for decor. Yes. And I'll be out. in the mix of that this year. Right. Uh -huh. uh, 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 uh. I will be here. Don't worry yourself. No, see, you can't ask more for money. I ain't going. It's not going to be some cost this year. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be a really, really nice setting. And people may tell us from now, those who are drive, please, may I beg on us. When I drive and park in the venue, right? I don't want nobody to park and, and I don't know say I'm not going to in a one hour time. Do park outside. Because we're going to organize the parking. Mm -hmm. You park far and you come up closer to the gate, right? And we don't want to have that confusion of a person driving in and out. Right. One person who knows why you come at the event fit to stay at the event. Do me I beg you know. Right, please. After the break, we'll talk some more about fan fusion. It is now 9.30, ladies and germs. Well, I mean, well, <laughs> fly <laughs> germs. <laughs> mercy. The time is brought to you by BJ Printing Services. Real Talk is also sponsored by Native Audio and Stage Equipment Services. we we'll soon forward. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party or even club setting you name it, we'll bring it to life call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531 Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and Rural Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Build as Depot. Everybody go a Build as Depot. Portland number one hardware that's a Build as Depot. You want to fix up your yard? Build as You could be living abroad? Build as Hurricane sees the come? A Build as To so make your roof blow a dong? Build as We have the best pricing? Build as And the best parking? Build as Harbour that's real with things? And we are carrying the swing? Just keep 
Popo, right at Industrial Estate, Long Wall in Burns Bay. I call them at 715-3128 or 284-3337. Check them out. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. You want it, now you got it. Styles FM Fan Fusion Party Episode 4. Mixed Intoxication. Saturday, July 8, 2017 at the Bayview Villas. Waterfront Property. Dolphin Bayport, Antonio, Jamaica. Come hear your Styles FM DJs juggling retro hits. Retro Gunya style. From the 70s, 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. Admission, 500 pre-sold. 600 at the gate with flyer. 700 without flyer. Party starts at 7 p.m. sharp. Listen to Styles FM for ticket outlets or call 286-9216. Fan Fusion Party. Mixed intoxication. Dress tropically elegant. Must be 18 years and older to enter. ID required. Drink responsibly. Before me tell you what happened to me <laughs> last week. Can you say some of my time? They say when you had dig. When, when you had dig. What they say when, when you had dig. Ditch. Grave, ditch if you dig two. Oh, yeah. Right? Before Free that, let me big up the people them ninety two point one in the Bronx, right? <laughs> this is a new radio station. They actually is called themselves Styles FM, right? And it is, they are in the Bronx, and they stream Styles twenty four seven, right? So, except early mornings when they stream Brother Gary show, okay. but after that, it's just Styles. Right now, it's Styles FM. So, if you're in the Bronx, you have family friends in the Bronx, and I think they would, they would go outside of the Bronx as well. 92.1 and big up flavor big up brother gary we got the whole family up there in the bronx new york scoop, and scoop. talking about the bronx we must also big up partopia as well so they are located in the bronx and they do party 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 supplies all right and, and talking about party remember ladies and gentlemen um you can get your fan fusion flyer well your fan fusion tickets sorry pre-sold for 500 dollars. well it's armbands and these are, you can get them from your Styles FM personality, right here in Bonnebrook, Port Antonio, at the Styles FM office, Labe Sports Bar in the town of Port Antonio, and White Caves Pharmacy, which is upstairs, single building. We only printed a limited amount of pre-sold armbands, so get them, get them, get them. I remember in St. Thomas, um, we sent 30 armbands, and those were finished before five days. Mm. Right, and they got another 30, and those are going, going, going. And I know normally in the last week, you said, like, they just go. Mm -hmm. So, people, please, may I ask, you know, <coughs> I'm not gonna reserve and say, boy, for Portland or for St. Mary, for this or for that. You know, so Julie, Roxanne, let me know. I pass through St. Mary every single week. So, let me know what's up, right? And at the gate, it's gonna be $700 without your flyer, $600 with your flyer. And I see um, Nisha in the UK, let us know so we can have your tickets, uh, your armband actually arrange for you here for Fine Fusion and you're in the, in the United Kingdom. So we can definitely reserve your ticket for you. Just make arrange, all, um, uh, arrange for payment, right? And those who are interested in lodging, um, the hotel for Fine Fusion is... Tell me. You don't know. I can't believe you don't know. And it's next door to you. Oh, oh. The Match Resort. It's Match Resort yep. and um, Bonebrook. Bonebrook Hilltop. Hilltop Hotel. I passed there the other day and it's really a nice little spot right there at the front. Isn't yep. It? I saw the names. Really nice. Yep. So, um, <laughs> persons, that's Fan Fusion. And we had one of our listeners right now. Yes. Um, of course, our friend here, uh, 2313. Um, says good night guys i'm listening and i know from the message that you are grieving the loss of your cousin mm -mm. and it's so sad really really sorry we express our condolence to you here True. from the styles family um you lost your cousin this evening i realize and that that can't be a fun thing to hear and to learn Losing a loved one, you know, by whatever means. So, of course, our prayers are with you, my dear. And yep. we hope that somewhere, somehow, in there, somewhere tonight, we can bring you a little bit of laughter or smile or comfort to hopefully help to soothe your pain and loss tonight. All right? True, true. All righty. Um, and remember, you must dress 
or try your best to dress tropically elegant. Elegant. That's I have no clue what I'm wearing future. yet. Just Gosh. wear some nice, pretty colors and I need you know, to, I need stuff to like that. be smashing. I see. Um, hmm. I can't wait to see Taria. I can't wait to meet Taria. You know, um, trust me. Yeah. I can't wait to meet Sorry, Taria. I'm never talk. Big up, Denny's. Um, yeah. But you want no. Them say when you dig whatever, you have to dig, dig to or whatever. I'm on. You remember what they were talking about? The, the pan of water, the, the, the drum of water, well, if I may add. Mm-hmm. Cass, you know water go over there. <laughs> <laughs> Cass. Oh, boy. You know water go over there, Cass. <laughs> and you know, all me have been there, not the water. Because I'm sure that I'm in there, you know. Every time I say, you know, say, I really fuck it, boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Me tell everybody how. The builder refused. <laughs> Ed Cornerstone. Yes. Me say, but nobody ever expect water to, to go. <laughs> and <laughs> when you look at the bottom, my water no care today. You can't see the greeny greeny down there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's not dirty. That's Yo. beyond dirty. <laughs> me say. Maras. Me, hola, no? eh? Kuru, kuru. All kind of sitting. Mm-mm. And I may have a beard in the cast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not beard, man. You're just wet up. <laughs> oh, no, I'm a beard. Good, good beard, man. Beard, good, good, and dirty water. Good, 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 good beard. Come and fling better than that, I'm good to go, man. <laughs> I can imagine how much better you drink that water. I know oh, why we don't feel that way. Because we know fish. enough people in ice cream never have no water. <laughs> <laughs> so when you finish, you don't smell, smell, smell a detail. You don't smell a detail. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is serious. Oh, you have two other five gallon water, and that mom's. We're gonna start calling it all right. <laughs> and that mom's are more in the beard now. And that now, another thing that I hear me tell myself, Jano, I want to mess up. You go into your face, not water. Because you know that they're not gonna use that. They would not use that one. <laughs> yes. Oh know, boy. When you that joke, the water, you know, hear me. Yeah, no, okay, you know, yeah. Let's come out as a can go on all our reason, we'll go on chat, man, because we're just cool, and then turn their bunny bun, me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear it, say, just throw some water for me, too. <laughs> Dead <Yeah, man>. or <laughs> Oh, no, this is serious. But it's still, it's still, it's still DR. Daddy, rude, that's all rude. That's all rude. Yeah. Dirty rude. Oh, I got to. <laughs> Oh, oh Lord. Very more than that. Big up the boy. We see you. And of course, KDN and Denny's in New Jersey. Big you up. Oh boy. Yes, Miss Brown. I'm soon full of scratch, scratch for real. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe by fan fiction, we see him all about itching and stuff. I don't know. Miss B, we are telling the truth. I just laugh, me I laugh. I saw, I saw me a beard, me I laugh. <laughs> I said, John, no star. I want to mess with me. I'm going to turn off the water out of the meal and make uh-huh. money and carry beard and that. I'm going to turn off the water. I'm going to turn off the water. Our, but, mess, our message came in from um, Trisha from Castle. Yeah. All right. So we are we're there with you, girl. True. In spirit and in prayer, all right? <clears throat> so tonight tonight is going to be another crazy night, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we have a really lovely letter to read to you. Yeah. And a crazy vox pop. And maybe one or two uh, articles to read. I think Claire's going to like at least one of them. Hmm. Yeah, she's gonna like at least one of them. When you say that, I get excited. Yes. Um, so let's let, let's see the box pop. Right. The box pop. The box um, pop for tonight. tonight. Oh, my banger my is engineer. dead. Can you imagine? Who? My banger is dead. It, it dead as in the battery. Oh um, yes, Jesus! I'm not that bad with a banger. Oh man. <laughs> so tonight our box pop. Here goes. Try live in peace. Even though you and your neighbor not deal. Of course, that's what's expected, yeah? Can you? <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't have to talk. Let me ask a question. Yeah, your neighbor not deal. Sunday morning music are blast loud. Let me something about me like that. Seriously? Eh, seriously. Sunday morning music are blast loud. And in a case, I've had neighbors where it's not like we don't deal. It just never happened to be close enough to say. 
So how you feel? Then foreign neighbors would just uh, they talk to people. Yeah, it was like that. So it wasn't a case where I'm upset with them or they're upset with me. It just never happened for sure. Yeah, a connection. We never happened to have a connection. That was just the case. And then, I've, <clears throat> sorry, I've had other neighbors where we chit chat and rap and stuff. It's so you never have no neighbor where your name just not, 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 not deep yeah, or man. not green. Oh, yeah, I can't remember one such case. Um, just, yeah, just go about my business and then just go about for them. You think? And them not see me, I guess, and me worse never see them. What about all the singing, the singing loud and the throw word, the throw word something? No, man, I'm not putting something there. I'm putting something there. I'm not putting something there. That's not putting something there. No, man, I throw word something there. I'm not time for that. Who finds time to throw a word at your neighbor? You don't deal with them. They just, you just don't deal with them. For me, they don't exist, quite frankly. Seriously, don't exist. No, sir. But to throw a word on... Them, they must be crazy. No, so no you have play some Bobby eh, eh. Yard. Run, come, crucify the dread. <laughs> Lord. Oh, oh, Lord. This is not about Marley that we normally you sing about. Hypocrite. Heaven, what you're, you're living, living in, in hell. hell. What about the one about hypocrite? Um, some will eat and drink, drink with, with you. you. Right. Then behind them, so supply. Yeah, oh, that's, yeah that's, play that's the music one, yeah. the well early at the man and Lord. And you Kill know. them dead, see them, don't it? At them. At them. <laughs> <laughs> at them. So we don't know what you are telling oh, about. But I really don't have the time for that kind of. I don't know. I don't find time for that. Seriously. So, our Vox Pop. I'm good at. It I'm good at ignoring. I'm good at I am good at ignoring. It I stush. am perfectly good at just ignoring a cause when it needs to be. Seriously. All right. And mommy says that's the best insult to ignore. Depends. Yeah. And the box pop. Try live in peace, even though you and your neighbor not deal. <clears throat> Question. What would you do if your neighbor's dog, cats, or fowl keep coming over your yard and messing it up so they poo here and they poo there and they do here and they do there they're coming into your house and your furniture them cats them puss and, and they're rubbing up against your leg when they see you coming inside and you hear them and you and you don't want to deal. And oh my goodness, you have your food put on. If you imagine them want to go take it off of the counter. And they fall <clears> and mess <throat> up on your back veranda. Oh my goodness. And you step as you step out and eat it. Like step in a, some some lick. <laughs> some lick. I gotta reach them. <laughs> I'm sorry. I won't I won't I won't crucify. Mm -hmm. But some good lick. And then again, I don't like cats like that. I really don't. They are just kind of creepy. So what would you do if your neighbor's dogs, cats, fowl, whichever other animal them have? Mm -hmm. Pig, mercy. How pig song go? Eh, 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 eh. Eh, eh. What would you just say? Where would you just say a while ago? Pig go, oh? That baby, song like... Baby pig, piglet. No, sir. Hold on, you never know that's a uh, piglet no, sound. No, son, that's a piglet sound. Yes. Oh, piglet sound. I don't know what I'm saying. But no. can't make it better than I saw. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> he's in pink and he's sounding like a piglet. Oh, boy. So, pigs are the goats and goat mess, you know, and they're walking through your yard and all of this and they just loose. In your space and they call them and all these things. The goat, they're going to name them your flowers. Your oh, good, good crow. You say good, good, good crow. Mm. Your good, good crow. Sure, man. The, 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 the we have your nice down. fence off. Yes, yeah? they're going to name it down. Mm. What would you do if you had a situation where your neighbors, fallen animals, and all these things keep messing up your yard and you have to keep clean up, clean up, and the ah, yeah, your your neighbor not deal? And, the, and, the, and your neighbor dog will kill your goat then. Oh, they don't they're terrible. That one you terrible, no. You have your goat and your neighbor dog will mm -mm. kill your goat. Plop. And that one and come, come mess up one. after any of your goat. I fear you didn't come. <laughs> after any of your goat, I fear you didn't come. You know, some dogs are true who leave their yards and go to other people's yards and mess true. it up. I saw it set. Everybody said them dog clean. Oh, to other dog them. That's not nice. And they need to, those, those owners need to come out with their bags and their, 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 their gloves and take up those poos like in the States. 
Look and carry a poo bag. Yes. Your doggy poo bag. Look here, some of my people in the States are nasty too. Because I witness with female one guy. Yes. A connect the cut and I can't tell which part I connect the cut to. I see it. The human dog mess up in the man yard and the woman. He have one bag. Mm -hmm. he, he, and go in a bag and then take up his sitting and fall over the bag and go dash in a man garbage bin. Uh oh. On the, the roadside? The man got been there in the yard, man. The, the oh. bin, the, the bin on, on go out the road when when yes. you have a, a weight You mean from. the man's nice, nice plastic roller bin something? Yes, I know the oh. blue one, the blue one I recycle, but are the, are the black one. Oh, you don't do that. You know that metal is done about a contact button, because they're not so clean up there. Well, generally speaking, compared, so to, compared to yard, uh, when you come out to that dog poos, take a dog to the park, you're supposed to pick it up. And hey, this sport that, properly. That's that one of the reasons why I stop playing football. Hmm. That's one of the reasons why I stop playing football because a couple of times, well, the ball dropping eye. <laughs> and across, come across, and I'm going to head that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and, and you just think of another fly coming your way. Oh, my All right. Goodness. What would you allow your kids to play with your neighbor's kids if you and your neighbor don't get along? Huh. And give your Please reason. Please give a reason. So this is a two-part question, yeah? You know, the Bible tells us, the good book tells us, hmm. as much as lieth within you, live peaceably with all men. Burn up. It does not mean male. You said burn I up. didn't say male. Burn up. All man biblically refers to male and female. So as much as it that. lies within you, you're to live in peace with everybody. But Michael, what lies? No, Michael, no, Michael, what lies? No, 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 lie within me. I'm not Talking about lay down man, chaman. Then, as much as is, as as is within you, what you is are supposed me? to. <laughs> not not within me, my girl. Tonight, no, 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 no man lie within you, you Cassidy. Do not laugh at this man right now. Cassidy, no lie within you that, that not, not, not within you the board Cassidy. Not no within not no within me. Could you leave crazy outside the doors of the studio, please? As no, much no, as life so as much as life within, within you. Stupid week, you know? As much I as light you. within you, leave your crazy outside that door <laughs> on a Friday night. No so, here, so we are to try to live as best as we can with everybody. Yes. Right? But the operative word is as much as. True. So there are times when we will have issues and differences with friends, neighbors, etc. But we want to know tonight what you would do if you had a neighbor or neighbors whose pets and animals and so on keep creating a mess for you to clean up. And two, would you allow your kids to play with your neighbor's kids no, if no. it is that you and your neighbor has some issue, you both have some issue going on there with a prolonged, long time, something, 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 present, you know, immediate issue, would you allow your kids to play with the neighbor's kids? And if yes, give your reason. And if no, tell us the reason. What would you do? Boy, to be honest, you know, I'm not one to say... No, I put the can't play with him. Because it's the kids. You don't really try to do that something with kids. But. I'm sure about that. But. Again, some will argue it depends on the magnitude of the issue that you're having with the neighbor. Because there are some neighbors, sad to say, who have some level of thinking. They aren't not clean, their mind not pure. And your picnic over there, they want to tell their children not chat to him, no ramp with him. If I ever see your shit on him again, I'll give you some good lick and murder you. Don't talk to him. Don't play with him. And some might even go further and might want to even cause minor or even major harm to the child. Hmm. So I'm going to say it yes and at the same time no. It depends. If you and your neighbor have a little minor thing or if me and my neighbor have a little minor something and the kids are friends, I really don't see me tell, telling my child, don't talk to the child, don't play with the child. What I do, what I might do, is just limit probably the frequency of even go, the going over thing that I probably used to do. Mm. That constant going over thing. I don't think I'd want a child to... Let me ask a question. Be always going over there Let me ask a question. Stuff like that. And we're talking about, we're talk about the good old days. Mm -hmm. The good old days, 
when and everybody have color TV and everybody have TV, the original big back TV, mm-hmm. the, big, ori- big back. The, the original days mm-hmm. them when TV sign off. Yes. Right? The original days when you have some picnic in a house and some picnic there at the door are looking. <laughs> <laughs> Then did it, uh-huh. right? The good old days. I remember that. Your picnic, I go over the nearby yard, <laughs> right? And for your picnic, the one where I stay at the door and look in on the TV. Mm. How your face make up so quick? Me <laughs> analyze it. How you feel about that? So even if you are the neighbor, a deal, right? Your picnic, a clean picnic, just done beer, but you have to sit down on the floor and pee pee. And you know, some more time, then the, then the TV there now. Any little light catch you can't see it so good from a certain angle. Stamp at the door, sitting at the doorway? Yeah, at the doorway. And maybe I'll throw the neighbor picnic sit down that one in no bed neither. But for your one bed. And where is the neighbor's child? No, inside. In a house? Yes. Not the, not for them house. In a fit them house in a couch. Ouch! Or upon the asak. Asak, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Asak. Asak. There's them there, man. Right. And then could and then for your picnic could have sit down upon the asak, but the asak in the house where your picnic sit down a ground. So why the child not have one asak? Yeah, why why my child not have one? Why never send a asak? That's what I'm talking about. If you want to put asak, make you want If it is that before we had an issue, the child you should be there, mm. like everybody has put sit down and watch, yeah. fine. But if it's now a case where because me have one this disagreement, mm. my pitney now reach a doorway. Come, come to the house. <laughs> go to your bed. Go read a book. Uh-uh, no TV tonight. <laughs> no, but suppose pitney go over there and broke when I crack with them. Eh? Give back one for me. Give, give back one of mine. But but it can't be a case where I see the child now being ill treated somewhat. You know, or being treated differently from before, and I think it's okay and let the child remain. No, 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 I'm sorry. No TV in my house. Too bad, honey. Come over now. You know, come over. Call you nicely. Come over. You could have ball bloody come on your yard because that's something that's not going to look good. You know, do you know all of a sudden. Eh, eh. No, not you, 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 you know, one part I think where I kind of, me kind of not agree with what you say. You left out something. What? You left out the part where you lick your pit in your back. Oh, I'm going to have a guy roll. You want to go you want to go over there. You walk about too much. You turn in your yard. Because that's the thing now, you know. Because you're, that you're, you're, you're not tell them, say, I chew them, I chew them yeah, there. I have a pee pee right. and, and you're the neighbor. I have a problem, you know. Then walk about too you much. You walk about too much. Mm-hmm. No, at that. You're not seeing the house. Yes. You used to get beaten for walk about. You never used to walk about then. Okay, so Cass never used to walk about. And me neither. You used to walk about, no doubt. <laughs> no doubt about that. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Look here. No, we used to have good neighbors, so we could have gone in the yard. Okay. We could have really gone in the yard. Well, I remember so going to walk my about landlord. Walk about. The landlord was in the same yard. There were two of us living in the same in the yard. Yeah. My mom, my family, and the landlord's family. And I remember we didn't have the TV thing for true. And as I said, no, 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 lie. We had a television, but we didn't have the yeah, every TV. Day. Tube TV. The, the, the D, what, what, not DVD. What was it? Cassette player? Um, video. Video cassette, yeah, man. Yeah. We didn't have, have that at the time. And the landlord had one. Yeah. And when we say, action. I mean, kick movie, ass. Look here, man. When we say, and I love those kind of movies, you know. So when I say, action movie, you know. Mm. My brother used to have to go to the doorway for two. The doorway is something there. Uh, we, we didn't have Asak still. And then put Asak at the doorway and we sit down and I say, we'll feast, you know, man. Because you talk about the, the likes of um, Van Damme, you know. True. You talk about Schwarzenegger, you know. Terminator. You talk about, you talk about Stallone. Rambo. Rambo, you know. Me Rambo, you know. Me I tell you, man. Them days, they say, whoa, nice. Really, really just nice. And you sat there, I mean, that time I could like watch all three, one behind the other, you know, the, the cast is something I tell you about. True. Yeah, man, nice man. And the destroyer, boy. So, trust me. The destroyer, and everyone destroyer, destroyer, you know. know. And when that time comes for you, go around, you're afraid you because squeeze, it's, so go late. Home. it's so late. Sometimes she even come and calling it like you can't move because the show is so nice, you can't. So I remember those ass up days thing. But if it is that my child is the, not them being Them days that you'd have for your foot? What? Timbim. What's that? <laughs> you don't know the name Tim Bim? No, I've never heard that term. Tim Bim? Yeah. <laughs> no, you know what? Let me see what our friends no. are saying on. Cass, you know the name Tim Bim? 
Qui a ce qu'il donne Oh, my Giver, too. Oh, yes, girlfriend. I'm a Giver. Tim, tim, tim. Tim, tim, tim. Tim, tim, tim. My girl, what about Tim, tim, tim. Tim, My girl was one of my favorite of all times. You know what about Tim, tim. Yeah, nice. Go truck. Open back truck. Yeah, man. My Giver, yes. <laughs> one of the best ones that... Oh, I'm excited. Yes. So... <clears throat> As we were saying now, <laughs> Yakisha, big up <laughs> yourself, Miss Texas. Um, we want to hear what the people are saying on the Vox Pop tonight. Whether or not you would allow your child to keep contact and friendship with the neighbor's child despite your issues with the neighbor. And if your neighbor has animals, we are messed up your yard. We are going to about that. Somebody, in the meantime, text her and tell her what is Tim Bim. And feel free to call us on 4531444 and, of course, 954-338-7973. Let's check out the... Oh, we're going to go to the time signal first. The box pop. We'll go. Quickly go to the box pop. First thing, every four-foot bus knows that enough to come on my yard. We make that clear earlier on. So I sure say the great, 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 great grandparents of them nowadays bus here, tell them, say, listen, you see that yard? No. Go. They, you get what I say? If four foot push them, they have to stay far because you don't like posts. Now, the foul thing, well, <laughs> lick down to a dad, don't know how deep that in a somewhat hot water, don't know, cook down that. <laughs> so, any of them kind of keep them full in a cob. No mind the dark them, but big stone licking at them to ribs. So, them know, say they're not really mess up my yard. Get me? Yeah, man, my yard kind of set that way there. So, they're afraid that. No, pertaining to the kids. Yeah, man. No mind me about have something. My kids not have nothing with them. <laughs> them and my kids not have nothing. I mean, them have something. So, yeah, man. My kids go around with them around with the them and thing. Because I put enough in a big people thing, you know. That's my thing, you know. That's way most people don't teach them, you know. Big people thing are big people thing. You see it, little pitney and them not have nothing left. The little pitney make them go enjoy themselves. You get what I say? Some of the time all the little pitney them get back them for talk, you know. And some of the time I some little foolishness people are malicious one in the door, you know. So good, me have me neighbor them and my auntie them. <laughs> You see, me a horse, somebody. Me love my horse. Since once me know my horse, I'm a beat my styles. It's what I say. Everybody say, turn you up, turn you up. You get me? So, no, I'm good with that. If them never did my family, then I see them thing would have gone. You get me? Yeah, man. Real talk. Big up on yourself, real talk, family. Um, if my neighbors, animal, consistently come on my yard, come mess it up on them thing. Whether I want my dog, cat, fall, come dig up my flowers and my plant them all this and whatever. But just the name about the situation and the most I don't appreciate the animal coming over there messing up my place. And if them not deal with the situation, I'm gonna deal with it. You understand? Can you know something for said poison? And I don't know we are killing that. Secondly, if me and my neighbor live good, me not gonna make my feelings get between my pitney and pit, my neighbor pit the feelings. Because at the end of the day, pitney and pitney and they always pitney and they ramp. Even necessary, them parents not deal, they're not business about that. Because they still have a link up a school and ramp. You see me? So if they want to play, that's up to them. You know what I mean? Now nah, get in between that. Well, first of all, if my neighbor's cat or dog or fowl come over my yard and mess it up, well, you know, firstly, you want to call up your neighbor and say, well, you know, this a hot man and so forth. And, you know, try to call contain them or something like that but if the neighbor now nah, do nothing about it and they keep on coming over then you don't know say you might have a killer fall <laughs> you understand or you know lick the dog or something because if you keep on and talk to this neighbor and the neighbor now nah, do nothing you have to take drastic action so basically that's where you do them thing then Back to you. It's now two minutes after 10 o'clock. And, of course, the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio and Stage Equipment Services. When we come back, we give you a whole lot more. So stick and stay. We'll soon come. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. I'm on black, me the brown, me the white. Nasty Babylon Stripe, you man. Metamorphosis. Edutainment. Coming to you from Styles FM. 
from the parish of Portland, Northeast Jamaica, featuring your host, Dr. Iman Black. Tune in, come, listen, learn, engage Dr. Iman Black. Article reasoning, article teaching. Come, be edutained. Metamorphosis. Each and every Monday from 9 p.m. to 12 midnight. Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know, so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a beg you. Give me a blind, huh? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ram Tula Super Center and hardware? Ram Tula Super Center and Hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ram Tula's Hardware, experience the three C's. Comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ram Tula Super Center and hardware opens 8 a.m. to midnight seven days per week call 715-5132 email ramtulasupercenter at gmail.com remember we have the best prices in town Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party, or even club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Delrose Green and Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk. And of course, we're asking you, what, what would you tin do? Bin? Oh, Jesus. Here, so, sore foot. I, do, I never have sore foot when I was growing mm, up. Seriously? Can't remember having sore foot. Everybody have boil. Have, everybody have sore foot. I have one boil come from my leg, but I'm not like sore, like you have no big sore. So, if you get a cut. With a scab? Yeah, that's a different something. That, like one cut and a sore foot. That's sore. So foot, they're like sore foot. With, with gingy fly touchy. And pussy, pussy, and something. Yeah. No. You never get none of that something there? Like I said, I've got not cut, and you have to like, make leave if you get well, and so that different. Where you put pony? Makura comb. And what? Should I call it? Uh, and one purple dressing something. Purple dressing? One red something, and one purple something. Yeah. Or, what do you use again? See, I think I'm going to remember. So, alright. But I remember that purple and all that right, red I, thing. Then, alright, hold on. You never get no cut where you use a, a, um, a powder or something. What's that? You never get that the cut of your I saw a foot that you have to yeah, have that one. I have no me, tin beam. Me, why am I get couple? Ordinary cut, me love. Ordinary cut pan foot. Me get couple tin beam. Me not get no tin beam. Good night, caller on the 954. How are you doing? You know, good night. I'm trying to listen to the program, you see? Yes. I, I just came home and I'm me not listening to the program. I'm eating and every section of this program tonight is upsetting Mr. Wong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. If I'm a dog, if I'm a dog poo, I'm a pre poo poo and then I'm going to go up and tim him. And he can't let go to tim him. Mr. M, can't let it go. I'm going to try and give you him. And the source of the fussy 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 when he has to use cocoa and orange peel and scrub him. And some powder something now like when you put it in the pong pong dog coat. I'm making a comb. He can't and rub him down with jays and all this. He can't let go. It's something to Yes. Why you not slap him? Why you not slap him? I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. DJ. DJ. What? You just start, listen. Not your idiot, man. Me listen probably. Oh, come well, down if you, if you know you want to move on the fly. Oh, gee. Don't go back to the fly story. <laughs> don't go back to that fly story. Listen, hey. Look how much I got for your ears, you know. <laughs> if I almost eat the fly. <laughs> He left out that part. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> he eat me. I kind of want to know. He eat me. Will I eat it? That's a possibility to me, love. That's a, a strong possibility, too. Jano. You participate in your program quickly. Good night, Dad, Dad, wherever you are. I'm a, I'm a, a real talk husband. That. Yes. Let me say, um, first and foremost, and it, I, I am allergic to anything that cannot see. I want to go to the bathroom. I, 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 I do not <laughs> want anything, any poo in my yard. I have a neighbor, and then they, 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 they said the myth is that a dog don't poo in their own yard. Yes, I've heard that. My neighbor, and I choke because my neighbor have a dog, and finally come me adopt him. And him don't do it in my yard because him sees him yeah, over my yard, I see him here too. Oh. That know that here so my mother chew to it. The difference from that, me, well, I me not like puss. None at all. None at all. Sorry, I don't. Quite tall, tall. 
Let, let me say, I don't like cats. Um, not at all. So they can't come across my part. We don't feel me near about anybody else. So the poo part there, I'm not me no, me no really in it. If I have rabbits, I don't mind rabbits. We clean them poo. As it relates to the children, I, my life is a living testimony. When I was living at Draper's Heights and just being a young police, there are a lot of persons who did not like me. And, you know, for different reasons, they did not speak to me. My children had to pass and tell them good morning and good evening. Right. To this day, I hear persons comment me about that. My children have to play with other persons, whether we get along, yes or no. Children have no prerogative in what adults go through. Right. And that's how my mother grew me, and that's how I grew my children. So I believe... As it is to go over the yard, go sit on a doorway, ain't happening. Not happening, I'm a beer, man. It's not <laughs> happening. You crazy? Go over where you sit on a catch, where you're a dog. Yeah, your yard. I may not even slap you. Say, you what, but me are licking your back. Where you going to sit on a catch, where you're a people in the doorway? And that me have said. You understand? But as it relates to children, children are to be children, and they must grow to have manners. And, and it, it leads me to say something else, you know, that I've always said. When teachers trouble pick me at school, or teachers and children have anything at school, and mothers don't un- hear what they say. But, um, let me tell you something quickly before me go away. But the day when I was coming to the state, my son called me and said, Mommy, I'm a teacher, let me know my belly. <sighs> and I, let me tell you, late from my flight, I'm a third back. I'm going to teach you. And you know what was the situation? The teacher said he was going to give him up. Um, at a free session the day before, I promised him, see, man coming in class and I teach in class, and my boy go back, I'm touching me in the neck back. Sir, walk to the free session. And the reflex of the teacher making elbow touch me in the belly. Mm-hmm. And in create one extent. So I'm saying, do not let children make you an adult. And if you're an adult have something, let children stay out of it. Yes. I'm going to come off the phone now, but I'm asking you kindly, um, Cleo, if you can't slap him in him, what just slap him to me, please yes. hear it, Lord, Lord. Yes. Oh. Ouch. 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 Yes. <laughs> <laughs> For disturbing your meal. All right, darling. <laughs> oh, boy. And it's a real talk because when you are through putting these kids through this turmoil, I can tell you one thing. Later on, the same kids will be friends all over again, and you're going to be the one embarrassed as day night for a day you're sure to be embarrassed and insulted when you see the kids playing again because you can't really separate them for very long right when i when i grow on grow on on and talk mm-hmm we drop couple couple black bag in oh a, jesus <laughs> in a my time <laughs> we drop couple black bag here and there here and there because we can't deal with the dog news and the post news and we can't deal with it oh straight up. jesus Right, so <laughs> people can fish and live for the soul. <laughs> if me and you also live together or close or whatever it is, <laughs> all of a sudden, <laughs> uno se rex. Oh Jesus! <laughs> uno se <laughs> or 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 kitty or nip. Oh jeez. Oh, remember, remember, remember the book nip and fluff. Oh Jesus! Right, if uno se nip and if uno se fluff. <laughs> he has been nipped. <laughs> on a can, on a can, or on a self no more. Kiss, kiss close. close. Uh, trust me. <laughs> Listen, people for care their animal, straight up, right? And me I tell you from now, if me happen, me happen for have a woman dog, and the woman dog, you know. Yes. Breed. Yes. And have a, 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 a puppy a litter, I say go. Yes. Right, I have some little like dog dog about the place. <laughs> Right? Because you know normally in a meeting season, Cassidy, you have about five dogs. I look at one dog. <laughs> Call right? Her. Now, when the five dogs there, when you pick them barn, Cass, you say, every puppy will favor what smarty dog. I <laughs> over them, me a fling a puppy, because I don't mind nobody pick me. You sound like somebody I know. Oh. <laughs> oh, everyone I know. Me I tell no friend, no. Oh. So I'm going to dog steal from me. You're going to have the DNA. What, what? I'm going to call her on the, on the 453. Good night, caller. Hey, good night. How are you doing? How are you doing? Every day, you know, you don't know me locked into your program. Hi, every day. What's going on? What, what on, rude boy? I'm going to have a boss. I'm going to have a boss. I'm going to have a boss. He's crazy. Every day, you kind of burn up a while ago still, you know, but go and talk. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, man. Respect, Bill. Respect, respect. I'm here going to go take a team. But the dark story, they're still on the neighbor, them. Why? Yeah, sometimes the neighbor, them, you know, it's not sensitive to them. So, yeah. You can turn over the dog a little bit. You know, so, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Every day. Yeah, you're kind of carrying back. You know, you're kind of. You, 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 you know, you, you, you touch him over and then you carry him back. And then he won't come back. The short thing won't come back. It must be a different dog. Yeah? <laughs> but I'm a lot of things here. I go and listen to you guys still. Go and hear you. You don't know. You know, it's so fire still. Give yeah, thanks. Guys. Give thanks, yeah. Continue, continue doing what you're doing. Cool. All okay. right. Big, big up yourself, Evie. All right, cool girl. All right, cool. darling. Yes, darling. Oh, everything does help me hard. <laughs> 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 now that's why I'm having a small stroke right about now. No, if I laugh, I drop again. Yeah, yeah. Yo, shut up. Move it, sir. Move it, cheer for this. So go at this, so. Everything in art be true. <laughs> 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 Look hey, here. We don't have the here. He cannot function tonight <laughs> anymore. I tell you after that statement, no. believe me. <laughs> I know him all too well. At the door, you're safe at work? At the door, you're safe at work now? Eva? You're safe at work? No, ask, ask Crown Prince what I did. I have, I use the code. <laughs> I ain't no swiper. <laughs> 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 I use the code. Uh, oh, boy. Hard, you know? I, I love your heart. You know, everything. <laughs> 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 All right, DJ. All right. Ryan O'Neill is locked in. He says good night. Good night to you, sir. And big up every day as well. We have a caller on the 453 once more. Hello, caller. Good night. Good night. We're going to share a little story when I was much, much smaller. And um, my my neighbors, they were like, they were like six, seven, they were like nine of us. Uh-huh. Cousins at grandma's house. And um, who get bigger going? Even about, maybe about three, four, about five of us. Uh-huh. So five, five break out now with us and some kids down the lane and who and fling and who forget bus up. <laughs> get bus oh, up. Jesus. So <laughs> when they look, man, we say mother and grandmother, uncle, everybody, because we live on a lane. Mm-hmm. Coming up the lane, we come to one party class, my dear, look him back. My mother know what is quiet, so I did not really, you know, no war and no fuss in nobody. We say, see, look him back, because they intend that whosoever did hit their child, have to get one bus out in the car, it now goes up. Yeah. I call and go on and my mother said to them, said, no, no bother with that. I pick me them member. No, they never want to hear that. To this day, that girl is my best friend. Oh, jeez. And me and our two brothers talk so well. Well, we, we parents eventually talk about, but them insist, you know, if you go up on the yard and pass mm-hmm. like when you see Drea pass your station, and then they ever go and bother that my mother, if my mother is my tempered person, well, they don't get to me can't thank her with me so much. My mother was just like, <laughs> my mother was just like, she just don't want the argument or nothing. And this day, that girl is my best, best. Everybody was so astonished because they thought mm-hmm. that would have go up to the enemies. Yeah. So I learned a very good lesson from that. I know they apply it to my life. Children are children. They leave children out of adult things. When I was small and people come and call my grandmother, you couldn't go look. Right. Your mother. Call grandmother and go in the house, go sit down. Yeah. And when you hear, yeah, 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 you take yourself out there and go find somewhere to sit down because you're a child. Right. And like now when you hear, hello, and yeah. you sit there, sit, and you sit, sit down, right? Sit down in the middle, and, and they're having a conversation too and slaughtering whoever and saying all the negative things too. <laughs> in yep. the middle of the conversation, like yep. they're adults. And that is why I guess we have lost a lot of things that we have lost. But Definitely. we have to know we have to join the line. No, we don't do put none at all. <laughs> we don't have, I'm afraid of every dumb, well, whether they dumb or mixed, so I'm afraid of them. I could have the chicken just born, I don't hold them. Yeah. So I don't want nobody things in my yard. I don't arm them, I don't have to set my pies with them. But I'm going to make sure to tell me about it. Oh, hey, keep the things over there because. I don't do. I'm not going to buy a pet because I don't pet things. So, 
I don't do them news and say done at all. So before me don't want it, I'm not even going to buy none for my children because me don't want none of them have no pets to go over the body and go give them no trouble. Mm -hmm. Goat, goat and news and daddy road. Goat? <laughs> Where's a goat mouth pies, you know, from that, from that bite, but then say from the bite, you leave the whole tree are dead or something like that. I don't know if nothing can go, so. so and not just domestic animal people use and be news and so other people. Some people not take care of them back here, they don't look rat and roach, breed up in a chillen place and come over here. Oh, yeah, your place. <laughs> so life, yes, life is that kind of, kind of hard. Yeah. And later, guys. All right, Charles. All right. Thank you so much. She checked in tonight. Yep. Yeah. And me know straight up, if me, if, me, if me got a people yard and I say rat and roach, me, me I go and go talk to you and say straight up. Jesus. Me I talk to me I go and go say, boy, you know, say one chair and have one bag of rat and roach over there. I don't know if I go over anybody yard, but I don't see when I go back over there. I don't see when I go back over there. I don't know if I go back over there. I don't know if I go back one bag of rat and roach. Right? So listen, straight up. I remember one of my um, my supervisors when, when um, you know, the parish council, he used to tell me how him and him neighbor did have this issue. Him have dog and him neighbor have dog. Mm -hmm. At nights, you know, dog, we, we, we just not agree. They might bark at the yeah, back, 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 right. and well, They bark because they, they might fence. So nobody dog now go over nobody yard. Okay. But they make a lot of noise at nights. Because everybody dog cage up at daytime, night time. You let, you let out the dog for your own security. So the man said, you know, the man, one morning, him neighbor come to him and said, boy, he want him for making dog and stop making noise at night time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me, oh my. I least expected to hear that request coming from you, Daddy Road. Oh Jesus. He wants his neighbor. Yeah, to stop make making dog and stop making noise at night, night, at night time. <laughs> I'll continue. What was his remark? When you, you know. learn how to make fear dog talk make nice. Because I said, not going to know how to do that. <laughs> God, trust me. When we hear, we have said, John, no. I'm going to go out. When we go out here, I'm going to tell you. Oh my God. I think his response is the best response. It's appropriate. It is yes. so appropriate. When you learn how to start making your one make nice. When, when, then... when you learn to make your dog when talk make nice. Then you can't come talk to me and tell me how you do it. So oh, me can do the so same can make thing. So I can't make my dog. Then. So, oh. so the mere fact that they never agree, oh. he will come the situation. <laughs> Celia Roper Johnson and Mr. Johnson tonight. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to one more box pop. Oh <laughs> you know what I know, people. Yeah, my point, I don't really bring juvenile in a big people stuff. Because if me and my neighbor them not agree, I'm not going to tell my youth them say, yeah, me and my neighbor them not say, don't play with them child. You see me? They must know what they want for them. You see me? Hey, what's the real talk? So, to answer the box pop thing, right? What would you do if your neighbor, dog, cat, fall keep coming over here uh, to mess it up? Well, I have two part. That's a two party question because, by right, if you don't want animals and things over here, they need to fence it up. You get me? Because you can't stop dog from walk. But the dirty part of me, which I am sometimes, not all the time, yeah, with that IR, we shoot him, use him, catapult, because this world in where I live, I always have a catapult. So, yeah, I am to shoot them straight in them brain. You get me? And the next part from me and the neighbor don't agree, I won't allow my kids to go over there straight up. You get me? No, sir. None at all. It is a reason why I don't keep animals in my yard because me don't want my animals in them go go key. my neighbor no problem so therefore me don't want my neighbor own them they come over my yard and I give me problem so if they want to come over there and give me problem I'm me not get no satisfaction from it I take my own satisfaction kill them out get rid of them the only reason why I wouldn't allow my kid to play our kids to play with my neighbor's kids is if my neighbor 
not allow fear pitney for play for me because I'm me and them have something, the pitney they not have nothing, so therefore you can't segregate the pitney them. But if Mr. They have that little dirty attitude where they must say, then them parents don't talk, I don't want them, my pitney play with them pitney. Well, I can do the same. My pitney not have to play with them pitney, so it vice versa. Okay, as it relates to my kid and, and the neighbor's um, child, you know, two big people have something that definitely don't have anything to do with kids, you know, so, and, and some of the times, you know, know when 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 the kids are getting along you know sometimes we as the parents can you know look back and say but you know the kids are getting along and we are the big people and uh, uh, we can't get along and sometimes it is embarrassing you know so sometimes you can learn from even the kids because um, they must have heard that you know you and the neighbor have something and they still decide to to overlook that and and still you know Top. Straight yes, up, straight welcome up. back. One thing me know, say me never like as Pitney. I'm mean, not telling no lie. Me can't talk, you know. Me couldn't talk it then. <laughs> not for my friend, them parents, they too strict. Oh. Me never like them. Me never like them mama. Me never like them papa. They too strict. Yeah, when, when you call, then time they add, add a little dial phone. You know that for you never no button press phone. I know when your finger, finger goes go yeah, and go I, right round. Right mm, round. They come back round. Oh yeah. And when one of my friend father answer the phone, me have to hang up. Me have to hang up every time he answer the phone. Me hang up. I'm sure so that the man knows not see me. Because anytime time I call back and I'm mother answer the phone, I ask for her. <laughs> Straight up. I never like strict parents. And you want to go to a yard and you want to have a phone, you carry a little football for kick and you can't make the football go up on the flowers. Oh, yeah. The football always chose for drop right, right in at the, the flowers. flowers. Yeah, yeah. I should do my flowers then. Hmm. I know I'm going to me, so you must know. <laughs> <laughs> the boy says no violence against men. Absolutely not. We don't promote it. Only when children are rude, you clap them. Right, Daddy Rude? <laughs> <laughs> John, what's that? Oh, boy. Kidian. I know. Slingshot shooter. Boat shoot. Slingshot. Laugh out loud. Mm, okay. Yeah. But I mean, whenever um you find that kids are, but you know before me say that you know it's enough of the time to people fall out because kids fall out, mm-hmm. right? No, me. I think I'd said it before. What happened with my daughter at school where she have this friend and a friend. Tell her, I said, boy, if she don't give her money, she'll go tell her the kids up to talk to her. Mm-hmm. So my wow. daughter puff up himself about fine and give her money. You know, mm-hmm. that burn me. <laughs> so me tell mom, say, yo, make sure say, you defend it so we can get back the money. So she put she, them out of the chat room and she talk about bullying at the chat room and other parents apparently was experiencing the same thing. Mm-hmm. So then now she through, um, through the teacher she learned who the parent was, and then the parent was informed, and so the following day, they meet up. But normally, the daddy um, carried the, the, the girl. So mom's kind of little fidgety, and I said, yeah, what do you know? When you go there, just call me and put the phone on speaker. Mm-hmm. So if anything, me will talk. But that morning, I the mother, well, the mother the one who took the child, because I guess for the situation, maybe the man probably dark like me. <laughs> so now, <laughs> The mother was so shocked, she can't believe her daughter do that. But there's a cleat of kids in the class, they have like an elite group. Mm-hmm. So she won't get in the elite group now, so she used a little thing to put money. No, Now, all me, the pan when Karen attack, and I listen, listen, I just want to know if we get back the money. Right? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Seriously, I'm never busy about nothing else. I want to know say, we get back the money. Because principal are principal, the mum have to find the money, give it back. Oh, man. Right? That's all me the depend. <laughs> so while me there, I eat up myself well angry and thing. It was such a nice, little, amicable discussion and all. Mm-hmm. Right? The mother, even without saying, agrees that she got to pay back the money. And then when them there, the two people them sit down. A ramp. <laughs> That's embarrassing yeah, for me. Yeah, me said, this is a pitney, I'm pitney, pitney, a real hypocrite. He might try to set me up. Uh, they don't even care. Right, they're no business yeah. about nothing. They don't care. Them did it a ramp because, at, listen, so you can't too, too take up pitney sitting because straight up. True, true, true. True, 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 true. We have a call on the 954. <laughs> Sorry, on the 453. Hey, caller, good night. Good night. Welcome to the show. 
Yeah. You know, Cleo, you see, big people are big people, and you see, children are children. Yes. Right now, I have a neighbor, you see? Yes. She move and can live beside my little area where we live. I used to find she had built up a house. She not talk to nobody in the little area. Yeah. And we have about 10 houses in a that little surrounded there. I you know so she had one daughter and the daughter left one my compared my granddaughter in the house, in and out, in and out, and me cook dinner, and me gear, and them are Adventists, and me cook for the evening. <laughs> and you know me no gear none for eat, Cleo? Oh. You know me gear mackerel? I said twice, say your parents is Adventists, and I'm not going to give her the pork. Yes. You know me look out mackerel and give her? And, and she eat, and, and, and when she one. eat, then I miss in my come down, I said twice, I say, come now, come go and move and I will get your beard. Mm. You know, my children are not forgetting a big people. So. Real talk, I respect that, mommy. Yeah, yeah. She, she don't want the pork to steal, but respect story. that. Yeah, man, children are children, and big people are big more. people. Because the end of the day, let me tell you something clear. When me did young, you see? Yes. And me go out, and me come in one morning. Young people go, well, look, then look at somebody and I come in. Yes. And me, I come in about 7 o'clock in the morning. And my enemy, when me, I tell about enemy, me say, enemy. Mm -hmm. Right? It was about four hours from our house. And you know the man, when me come out for the taxi, them all say pan fly, and I was the first person who present there to throw water. Yes. Mm -mm. And until now, that lady respect me. Yes, real talk. And she said the first person she see the man in was our enemy and i was the first person to help to water oh my so you see big people are big people and pitney are pitney pitney are pitney true and me believe in that real talk yeah man me believe in that i mean love me dad i mean love me put i mean love me fall i mean love me work <laughs> right now i have about 35 pair of barbie dove. what me have three dog mm -hmm. in my yard right now and when we lie down at night time i love to hear my dog run up and down in my yard and make nice oh jesus so that neighbor we are going to tell the man about to make him dog <laughs> because he no have no use for dog he no have no use for dog oh when we lie down in my bed and i hear my dog run up and down and i bark through him me no feel good <laughs> and then bark and help the neighbor too make a laugh for the neighbor sometime too yeah, me ask them what they say, what, 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 until the last night, so me not here, no. Me question them. Yes. Bark, she bark, and make nice. Oh, whoa. Because I <laughs> your watchman that when you ask me. Yeah, and I saw them make. Exactly. That's how <laughs> see them live in. <laughs> All right. Great right. talk, darling. Thank yeah, you. Man. Yeah, man. Right. Keep listening. We have a call on the 954. Good night, caller. We oh, are... I, I, I just hear this lady talking a while ago, and I felt so guilty, and I... I salute and lift my heart that, that lady. You know, my mother and the ladies, our neighbor, they, they never talked to each other until the both of them died. And it's a serious something. And I have it to live with for the rest of my life. When we were about nine, ten years old, my mother cooked the evening and give it. I mean, so the chair would be left full until we, we call like we were old. I remember Miss Clear used to get banana down a boxing plant. That's a boxing plant now, a bone group. So Miss Clear get this big bunch of banana hang it up because she used to sell ripe banana. Mm -hmm. And the banana ripe clear. And we still have a as pitney and seed go over there. But we feel say if we take out one one seed out of each bunch, she's not going to show. Mm -hmm. Out of each hand. So we go over there and go on the defense and take out one one hand out finger out of each hand <laughs> and eat it. Miss That's Claire, right. rude. You come and call Mama and say, Mama, there was an house and cook, because we were a small. Eat out the banana. And Mama said, no, not my pity them. They just didn't eat them dinner. I don't know how long it takes it to be. And I can tell you something. We lock them out because we never want to get the meat. Mm -hmm. And can I tell you, so then two big people have malice until the two of them, they're gone in the Oh, my. <laughs> because I don't know banana, I don't did tea vote. <laughs> And believe me, I, I, I prayed about it. And no time I look for him and say, Oh God, it, they said two big people until they did they didn't never talk. Oh my because Mama turned up to me and said, Not me. And, and at that time, I think I'd know we would have just said, Well, Mama, true now. We. But you know, really come to know someone, and when my mother beats me, I can't tell you. you know. Judgment. <laughs> Because when we get, when we get trouble, you know, my mother don't be to see it, Oh, make it pile, make it pile up. 
she, yeah, man, she soak, she, she flat the tambourine with and put up. Oh, the pillow out the door at night time and go in naked to put on the clothes. And that's how we get to visit, you know. Mm. So we never, but I'm just saying that honestly, I don't want parents to always not get picky on the subject, man. And honestly, Real talk. The, 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 and because honestly, I know all of us children are a little bit is very honest. So keep out of them things. And the lady went, never, me remember, when she started the poker, well, I remember one time we have some dog food on a station. And we have. Um, uh, hold on, DG. We're on a break. Here it's 9.30, 10.33. So we're going to hold, hold, hold that one until we get back. All right, cool. All right, we are on the break, guys. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call Call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Jerky, 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 jerky. The annual Boston Jerk Celebration is set to July 1 and Sunday, July 2. Boston, Portland, set to the featuring original Robert of Dancehall, featuring King Jammy's Superpower. Then Sunday, the Fabulous Five with Soka Intense. Gates open at 10 a.m. Admission $300 before 3 p.m., $500 after. Rides and attractions for the kids. For more information, call 993-8201. One World, One Boston Jerk. Hey, Styles FM peeps, do you want to blend in with the Styles FM family? Do you got styles all day, every day? If your answer is yes, then purchase your Styles FM t-shirts today. We have sizes ranging from small to extra large, only for you, our noble listeners. Be a part of the Styles FM family by making your order for our comfortable and high-quality t-shirts now for only $2,000. Stocks are limited, so get your Styles FM t-shirts today. Call 286-9216 to place your order. Planning a party? Close night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event, let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM, for the most effective way to exploit your market Dollar. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party, or even club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871 5212 or 844 6531. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green. And Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Yes, and of course, welcome back to Real Talk. And that time signal was brought to us by VJ Printing Services. All right? Yep. And hey, look, the lady that mm. Maria Tar. Yes, Maria Tar too. I think the no. child would have, would have no, no, eaten no, the pork no, though, no, but no, Maria no, Tar. No, 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 well, if I didn't mean no. we don't want the pork, I'm not lie. Maria Tar for a different song. Bad. You see, because she knows I'm working at a parish school, so she doesn't want to talk about which part she lives because she knows I'm going to go top the building. She knows I'm going to go top the building. So she doesn't want to. See, it's a good neighbor as much as. Very good neighbor. <laughs> and is it, sometimes and you see. I love a tambourine switch. I love it. DJ, I say I love a tambourine switch. I love a tambourine switch. Yeah, man, that same time, I say I love it. I've been sitting here talking from me, know you. I love a tambourine switch. Right? A <laughs> tambourine switch, a name, Daddy Road. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, I can tell you. You know, sometimes you have to silence the enemy away, too, you know, because people have a way of least expecting good from people who they deem to be, you know, Ne- negative are their enemies. Caller on the four five three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Turn on the radio, turn on the radio. Darling. Auntie. Yeah. The road. Oi. I used to work at Parish Council, but I'm on retirement now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I do eighteen years. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on retirement so, now. So, so you even know know some why? <laughs> What if you say I want to say? 
right. All right, put us. Thank you, sir. Yeah. All right, darling. <laughs> Lovely that she's still locked in. Yeah. So we have um, one more Vox Pop. All right. So we're gonna play one more Vox Pop, and we have one or two articles. Clear lights in both. <laughs> if my neighbor animal and uh, uh, pets them coming over my house to mess up my place, me I got her out. Me not take it because me not supposed to de- clean up m- mess from animal and me not have any. So. Me, I go tell them, say, listen, me not raise no animal, so your animal not supposed to come, come mess up my place, so keep your animals them. On the other hand, I wouldn't stop my kids from playing with their kids because you don't want to bring, bring the children in adult stuff. Kids are kids. My kids can go there and book in food, and at the same adult, I go render assistance to them. So I'm not going to get children involved in adult stuff. Children are children. Adults are adults. So I wouldn't tell my kids that they're not supposed to rap with their kids and i wouldn't tell my kids not to talk to them i'm gonna let my kids know that you're a child and you must stay away from big people's conversation that's me real dark i will warn the neighbors about them animal or uh, if they do not about it i said pies and kill them and my son arsh but if I keep talking to her or him and him not do nothing about it, that means he not value him, him animal. So if I like puss and dog, I set pies and kill them. I know more than angle the fowl. And also for my kids, if my kids, depends on the, but, what, uh, what argument my neighbor have. If my neighbor them are wicked, I don't allow my kids to play with her, play with her kids. Because I know she got set up my kids them. But if I like, I don't have an argument and I don't think say, you know, she just, um, you know, like, just being selfish or something like that. And our kids, they may not go, really. My kids, they can't play with our kids because they are children. And kids must uh, be, uh, interfere with adult argument. So I don't have any problem with that. But if I saw somebody with tan bad, and as I saw man they tell them, they start sitting there. And if my kids and them play, them will take it all the other way, then, nope. My kids them now play with them. I go explain to my kids them and make them know say no. But then our kids are kids still, so depends on the type of kids them have to. Because some tan bad pit too. Something you have to keep your pit close underneath your arm to be safe because they can use each other from long time. So that is that. Good night, real talk family. Well, first and foremost, if my neighbor's animal, cat, dog, whatever messing up my keep coming to my house my yard messing it up me and them no deal well despite the facts on a deal me i gonna make them no say hi hello yo your animal your dog or your puss continuously i mess up my place and you need to do something about it put it need a stoppage need to be put to it so, and if they fail, if they fail to try and fix the issue, address the issue, all me do, that same dog or puss mess with them animal a land in a my yard, I go somehow miraculous to end up back over for them yard. I me don't talk, right? I can't get no wrongs. <laughs> they can't get no wrongs for that, right? Anyways, on the issue of allowing your kids to play with your neighbor's kids, if you and your neighbor don't get along, I don't think children should get involved in adult affairs so no i wouldn't really stop my child if my child is friend with my neighbor's child despite despite the fact that us as parents don't deal there is no need to draw the kids into it right you have some dirty parents some dirty uh, cockroach parents you know go tell them look a picnic oh don't deal with Sue, don't deal with this, don't deal with... No, no, no. That's not healthy growing up, of a, upbringing of a child. I don't support that. So, yeah. You have to teach the children peace and unity, right? And you can't have to show no bad vibes around them with you and the neighbor. You get my say? So, adulting, adulting, and picking enough for, picking enough for, you know, get drunk. Real talk. True. You know, you know she said I, I, think, I think one of the easiest ways, let me tell you how me would I do it now. Zane, straight up, this is my way. This is, is going to be my way to do it. I hope it's not crazy. I, I don't, I really don't think it is. Okay. You know, you, you have to educate the kids. Right. Right. And you have to know 
need to go way over teach them over the certain things. So I have to say, me would say, yo, listen no more. It's a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to explain to her what is pedophile. I'm going to say, do not trust that evil. Your, your neighbor. neighbor. <laughs> Don't even trust your neighbor. That me will tell my pitney. Straight up. <laughs> so me know me and him not deal. So when me tell him about certain things, you know, me not tell him say neighbor a pedophile. You're you know. suggesting it. Listen, man. Hypothetically <laughs> speaking. <laughs> Psychologically, anyway, you know what? Thank you, ladies. And <laughs> just before ladies. we do that, let's see what our peeps are thinking on the WhatsApp line for a few. There, um, we think we got that one already, yes. And mm-hmm. what I will, yeah, what I do with neighbors, animal, I keep the pussy cat, eat the chicken, and chase the dogs away. Oh, Jesus, all righty, all righty, and uh, well, let's see what. Grunge. Contact information. All right. This one says, good night, real talk. Always tuned in. Big up on yourself. That rude and lady clear. Big up yourself too. Cadian. No, that wasn't Cadian, right? No. All right. 9562. That's it, Cassidy. And, of course, we want to say Kudos to all our friends and our peeps who text in and sent their messages. Yeah, and I want to be the persons on the, on the 92.1 in Bronx. And you can also download the Styles FM app. Um, and that's Styles FM on the Google Play, Google Play Store. Just type in Styles FM. There's an app by that name or Styles FM Jamaica. Jamaica. Download them both. They're really two cool apps. All right, so Styles FM and Styles FM app. So, All right. And Styles FM Jamaica. Uh, right. And just to shout out, before we shout out of the Vox Pop and the voices of the people on the streets, um, just to say and to reiterate that um, you have to know how to communicate with your kids and parents know what they would want their kids to know. But just to say, not to set up children against each other, because at the end of the day, it's going to be very difficult for you to put your children. It's not fair to put your children through a level of discomfort because you and the neighbor had something really petty. In many cases, something petty, there's a little disagreement, some tempers flaring and some egos bruising and stuff. And then you drag the children in the middle of that. And then later on, you see them all chummy, chummy and good. Friend, kids can't be, kids are pretty much innocent for the most part and they really don't know how to be hypocrites really they, they can't and if they, if they do it for a while they can't do it for very long they just tell it as it is and they act it out as it is and as they feel it so don't grab your kids and drag your kids in the middle of the mess you deal with your stress your adult messed up stress with, with each other deal with it leave the kids out of the picture all right and neighbors who have them animals and think a terrorize the people them Fence up your something, them no man. Fence up your yard or something. Lock up your gate. Put on one fence or something. So that your dog and your puss and your whatever. Don't interfere with your neighbor's things. It's not nice. All right? Real talk. Real talk. All right. So, tonight we look at one of our interesting articles, of course, on lovepanky.com. And I want the men to listen. And I want the women to listen even more. <laughs> to this one hmm. by Natasha Ivanovic. All right, and it says the average penis 10 easy answers that will make you a know it all. Me who the woman or the man? No, you are ready. Because only thing you know it all already, you know. So, 10 easy answers that will make you know, make you a know it all. Cassidy, are you listening? All right, it's all about the penis. You have one, so listen. Then if you know it all, you if you know one, one up. Know all, all about it. All about it. There are many info about it. Or there is much. Bad. You may be wondering if you have an average penis, men. Or if your, ladies, if your boyfriend's penis is above average. Well, stop wondering and get your questions answered. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. The penis. I, of course, 
I'm a major fan. So the article says, people, not me. <laughs> <laughs> However, just like any other body part, there are some unanswered questions I have about it. And I'm not the only one who ponders about the penis. I certainly am not. So if you wonder or ponder what the average penis looks like or what the average penis size is, I completely understand your curiosity. I mean, I also want to know what my gen gen genitals look like in comparison to everyone else's. No, I don't. And by the way, PGA, parental guidance, adults only. Yeah, so kids should be in their beds asleep and not listening to real talk. I don't know if I suck. Yeah, I don't do, I don't do away. <laughs> All right. In fact, I know many adults that need some questions answered. Though at first glance, the penis looks underwhelmingly uncomplicated in comparison to the vagina. It's not so simple. Tell us women about it. Everything you need to know about the average penis. Who knows? Maybe yours is above and beyond the average penis. Probably not. It's probably pretty average. There's a reason there's an average. <laughs> oh boy, this gets more interesting. Number one. <laughs> What's the average? Well... Truth be told, there are a few ways to measure the average size of the penis. The average erect penis is five, five inches, five, five. I point, can't believe it. Five point oh, one seven inches long. Hold on, little people. That's that's Can't actually read, uh, that's actually watching me. clear. You see what clear is doing? The average flaccid penis is 3.61 inches long like this finger oh, oh no okay like this finger <coughs> the average girth girth of an erect that's the one you go you go that like that when the men do that right i don't know uh, anyway girth of an you erect realize, penis you're, is 4.59 inches what's what's, the, what's that you realize i'm gonna keep back What's, what's the girl? I'm not sure if I know what the girth is. Look here. But can look here? Young can deal with that. that word for me, please? I've, I've seen the word before, but it's not a, because of this interesting article, it's not coming back to me right now. Yeah. The average girth of a flaccid penis is 3.67 inches. So hold on. The average flaccid is 3.61, and the average flaccid girth, girth of a flaccid one is 3.67? Seriously? Hmm. Okay, so take out your measuring tape, ladies, take them out, hmm. and see where you fall on the scale. Okay, hmm. number two, race doesn't matter when it comes to the penis. Mm -hmm. I know what you're thinking. African guys have the biggest members. I'm not going to lie. I thought that as well and even did some of my own personal research to see if it was true. It was true. But on the large scale, it's not true. Maybe I was just lucky. But race doesn't have anything to do with the size of your penis. So whether you are China, a line of tell. Come to think of it. This article part is not right. <laughs> I don't know if there is a Chinese man who would be sporting a nine inch. Am I right <laughs> to say that? Can I say that? Uh, well, no, I'm trying to think of mass production. I've never been down to China, wor China world before, so I don't know. But I don't think. And if anybody out there know of a... Are, are just a real, real original Chinese right, man. No mix up Chinese man. Yeah. Um. Let, let's just know. Let us start to clear. Okay. The women like it. They're listening. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. Height can be related to the penis size. Hmm. If you're going to compare anything, it should be height. Oh yeah, say. 
Many studies actually found height is somewhat correlated to the size of the penis. Now, this isn't something you should base who you choose to sleep with on. However, from my own personal experience, hmm. Miss Ivanovic, <laughs> I've noticed that the taller the guy is, the larger the penis is. I'm just saying. Yes. Hmm. Yes. You so I'm saying that short man has a very 3.67 inches? The, the, the right here, I want to call the road. So a short person is supporting <laughs> this? When flaccid or when erect? We ask for clear, man. Ask oh, Cassidy if you want somebody, man. You ask Cassidy, Cassidy deal, well, you deal Cassidy policy, man. Tall, so I would presume. You ask Cassidy deal with the thing, man. Number four. I know you're having a heartburn right involved, now. Man. I know you're having a warm time right sleep now. Sleep more, sleep. Anymore. Number four. Don't look at the feet. Uh oh. Women believe that the size of the feet will determine the size of the member. Okay. Seriously. I know you probably think that this is the way to figure out how big a member is, but it doesn't work. After all the studies done on the average penis, there is no correlation with the size of your feet to the penis. I don't think there are many women who will dispel this notion at all. There are some who stick with it for their life. Hmm. Stop staring at people's feet now. You know the truth. <laughs> I've been looking at the feet, don't worry. Number five. Yes. Smoking stunts your penis growth. Do yes. not smoke Daddy Road. Do not smoke Cassidy. Yes. You see the foot thing now. It, it will go. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 the foot thing of a woman to the smaller the foot. Oh please. <laughs> don't look no company. Y'all don't look no company. Number five. And if your foot don't big, smoke. If your foot big. Don't smoke. Smoke, Daddy Rude. Listen to me now. <laughs> you know don't what, smoke. You know what? Listen to me. No, no, no. We don't want to hear that because that doesn't <laughs> apply to us. If you are perhaps below the average penis size and you smoke a pack a day, well, quit smoking as soon as possible. If you're a smoker, you may have had <laughs> a penis think, that was average in size, but smoking actually shortens your penis by a centimeter. Now. You may not think that's a lot, but really, <laughs> that's actually a lot. So men who smoke, stop smoking. You are decreasing your member by one centimeter each time. <laughs> and the ladies will have a problem with that. Mm. Number six, grower and a shower. Okay, then. There are two types of penises, showers and growers. Cassidy, showers. Rude, growers. And both are completely normal. Let me tell you what growers are and what shower is, and you decide which, you're, which, which you are. <laughs> a grower is a penis that expands when it's erect. When it's erect. Think of it like a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> shower. Is it shower or shower? Okay. Shower. Um, anyone, it all one shower too. Anyways, a shower is generally larger most of the time and doesn't increase much in size when it's erect. Not a surprise, but you know what you're getting up front. No pun intended. <laughs> there are two types of penises now. There may be a third category. However, this is the most common two types of penises out there. Grower and shower. Granana. Okay. It could be a grower, granana, or a shower, granana. Number seven. How long do you really last in bed? Hmm. Maybe you think you finish too fast. But honestly, the average man doesn't last long anyways sure you may not sorry you may have a big penis or an average one but at the end of the day it doesn't matter actually i should be more detailed because people need to know men last an average of two minutes and 50 seconds in intercourse yeah so don't feel so bad that's the actual average. It's short. What up? What up? What up? What up? Men last an average of two minutes and 50 seconds in intercourse. Nothing wrong with that. 
it's 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 quite normal they say that's the actual average it's a short time so men who go longer i guess have trained themselves to go longer to satisfy the woman if she's not no, able to no more be climax. average we don't, we don't know, rubbish we don't know. Mm, and you don't want to be dubbed as a two-minute man either whether average or not, I'm not a two whether minute average mean no, no, mode no, no, no. median girl. you don't want to be labeled a two-minute man it says two minutes and 30 seconds 50 seconds 50 seconds so you can't be a two minute that's man. still like under three minutes give me a break <laughs> number eight size doesn't actually matter okay so this doesn't mean that size matters when it comes to sexual pleasure. You can wipe away the sweat and anxiety from your forehead now. But yes, there's a but. Size does matter when it comes to impregnating a woman. Seriously? If you have a longer penis, your semen have a better chance of making it to the holy egg. <laughs> Jano. I thought those sperms would swim to where they want to be. No, that's all right. No, if I'm a sperm, I'm going to grow a beard. So I'm oh, not sure Lord. about that. Number nine. <laughs> old man sitting. You need to get them trimmed. You can change your foreskin. You know this sounds weird, but you can actually do it. If your penis is not what you would like it to look like, you can actually reconstruct circumcised foreskin. Yes, Cassidy, Cassidy look at me, now. yes. <laughs> you may have just grabbed your penis in fear of the pain. Ouch. But it's something you really want to do. If it's something you really want to do, you can do it. I mean, it'll be painful. But you will then achieve above average penis credits. <laughs> I mean, that's that's, that's... Number 10. Natural or are you circumcised? You may be wondering, what is normal, circumcised, or natural? Listen, both are normal, right? I know that currently in America, it's a trend to get circumcised. But in all honesty, circumcision is an old tradition that is pretty useless. Hmm, I beg to differ. Sure, your penis looks bigger, but you also lose sensation because of the cut nerve endings. Either way is completely normal. Trust me, if a girl likes you, she's not too concerned about the skin surrounding your penis. That's a fact. Listen, your penis is probably fine. So if you don't fall into the average category, don't fret. At the end of the day, it's really, really how you use it. Hmm. And that, of course, is by Natasha Ivanovic. The all-rounder. The do road. <laughs> the do road. EG Listen, says, swipe for not... two minutes and then you can stay for just a minute if you like. <laughs> you know, it's ah. now, you, you didn't have to read that. It is now oh, 11 o'clock. <laughs> it's now 11 o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. We have another oh. article. It's, it's short, but it's pretty nice. Um, oh. We're going to read before we get into the letter. The Are time is brought to you by VJ Printing Service. My temperature. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> it's brought to you by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio and Stage Equipment. Services. Miss Brownie's itching. We soon come. <laughs> Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 893-2266 We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. You want it, now you got it. Styles FM Fan Fusion Party Episode 4. Mixed Intoxication. Saturday, July 8, 2017 at the Bayview Villas. Waterfront Property. Dolphin Bayport, Antonio, Jamaica. Come hear your Styles FM DJs juggling retro hits. Retro Gunya style. From the 70s, 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. Admission, 500 pre-sold. 600 at the gate with flyer. 700 without flyer. Party starts at 7 p.m. sharp. Listen to
to Styles FM for ticket outlets or call 286-9216. Fan Fusion Party. Mixed intoxication. Dress tropically elegant. Must be 18 years and older to enter. ID required. Drink responsibly. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook. Styles FM 96.1. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876 286 9216 or 439 5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party, or even club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Delrose Green and Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk, and we are looking at our next article. And our second article, in case you missed the first one, you can check out lovepanky.com and look at the average penis. All right? <laughs> and this one is entitled, well, this one is Nine Must Read Tips for First Time Sex. So now that you've heard a lot about the average penis, you need to bear this in mind when you're about to have it for the first time. <laughs> and this article was done by Haley Macmillan. Alrighty. The first time you have sex with someone or sex at all is a deeply individual experience. Sex means different things and comes with different emotions from person to person and from hookup to hookup. <laughs> that said, there are a handful of insights that can make your first time having vag vaginal sex comfier, more communicative, and more pleasurable, which are pretty universally great things for sex to be. Here are nine First time pointers with advice from sex therapist Vanessa Marin. Hmm. So we're talking about what? Nine must read tips for your first time at the encounter. Adults only, please. <laughs> Number one, being safe can actually relax you. Nothing is more distracting than worrying about STIs and pregnancy during sex. I'm if I tell you. Mm -hmm. Even if it feels awkward, it is so, so, so important to chat with your partner beforehand about what you'll do to protect yourselves. Use a condom, even if you're on another form of birth control, to protect you from STIs unless you are both monogamous with each other and STI-free. Of course, check your clinic or your doctor and do your yeah. testing. You can, you can be in the ashes too, you know. Oh, judgment. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. My co-host is gone mad on me right now. <laughs> Number know. two. You know, no. No. Yeah, man, you can wash something with ashes, man. Oh, boy. Enthusiastic consent is a prerequisite for everything you do. You do. So be enthusiastic and discuss and, of course, consent. Make sure you're en you enthusiastically consent to each and everything the two of you do together, Marin says. Enthusiastic is a key part of that sentence. Real talk. Don't just go along with something. Make sure you're excited about it. Remember that you 
that just because you start an activity, for example, intercourse, you don't have to finish or continue it if you not enjoy it. <laughs> you have the right to pause or stop whatever it is, no matter what. Same goes for your partner, of course. Check in with each other at, as things progress to make sure you're both enthusiastic about what you're doing. So ladies, if it is that the position you're in is highly uncomfortable, tap, pause, stick a pin. <laughs> Men uh, enjoy that. <laughs> not not feel right to me. You Just try to so? stop. Of course. <laughs> you go sit down there, girls, and take all kind of battering and bruisement up, and you're uncomfortable. It is supposed to be fun. Unless you're somebody who likes pain in the act, by all means, carry on. But if you're not enjoying yourself, ladies, make him tap. Men, if she just dead, 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 like one dead fish, you just tell her, listen to me, no man. Lively up yourself. Come on, man. This, this, what, what? You don't want to do this thing, yeah? You know, like you enjoy yourself. Like, I mean, I force that thing onto you, right? So, both people should really, really, really be enjoying themselves, right? So, be enthusiastic about it, right? And then, of course, you discuss and then you make a consent. Remember, now we're talking about the first time. Nine things you must know to make your first time exciting if you're not sure about the thing for the first time no bother with it all off discuss some more plan some more talk about some other things you know until you feel like the time is really really right okay number three oh jesus oh boy my call needs to leave this studio right now number three remember to breathe oh sir <sighs> breathe a big part of enjoying sex is focusing on the sensations you're feeling instead of for example your nervousness which is totally common to feel your first time even if you know you're ready to have that sex deep breathing <sighs> deep breathing is a fantastic way to let go of distracting thoughts marion points out as you're taking those deep breaths, focus on how different parts of your body are feeling and how your partner's body feels against yours. Not just the obvious part, penis and vagina, but their fingers in your hair, hands on your hips, whatever it is. Get a bite you in your head. Could you stop disturbing me with that bag, please? Thank it's for you. you, you know. I know, but not at this moment. And suppose I'm man biting her head. Eh, eh. That's not going to work. Run the fingers to my hair. That's different. Yeah. Biting her head. Or down the spine or something. Number four. Foreplay, foreplay, foreplay. Did I mention foreplay? And what if you want to go to five, six, and seven, and eight, nine, ten play, fine. The more aroused you are, the better sex is likely to feel. So don't neglect foreplay. Husbands, don't neglect to foreplay your wives. Ladies, wives, don't forget to foreplay your husband. Yeah? Especially if it's something that they want and they enjoy doing. Because it is a means of an arousal for you to enjoy yourselves in an intimate way. Hmm. Include... Oral sex, it says in the article, manual sex, and yes, good old-fashioned kissing, if that's your thing. If it's not your thing, then you omit accordingly. Hmm. You're more likely to orgasm from oral sex or fingering, Marin says. So resist the temptation to think of these activities as the things you do before moving on to the main event. Whether or not you do orgasm, the first time you have intercourse, clitoral stimulation is the key to most women's pleasure. And vaginal intercourse doesn't usually provide very much of it. Five, caring about your partner's pleasure matters more than your technique. That is so true. 
It's natural to worry that you won't be good in bed for the first time. But trust, what matters most is that you are invested in how your partner feels and vice versa. And that you two are communicating about it. It is just pathetic to see men. This is my speech now. <laughs> it's pathetic to see men who just are there and they're just doing their thing because they're just trying to, to, to prove something to themselves. Boop. No, man. Know what the lady likes and give her what she likes. Ladies, don't just sit there like a dead piece of log. A log no, is even moving on. in the water. Right, let me ask you a question. Hold on. And let, let, let the man me, enjoy. No, let, let me ask you I a like question. I like that cup more. I'm sorry. Let me ask you a What's question. That? This? Is it the same thing? No. I like that cup. The look of that cup. Let me ask you a question. I want to taste that one. I'm sorry. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. It's that. Look. It's that. It's... I like the look of it I said. Okay. So, mm -hmm. let me ask you a question. Yes. You said, give the woman what she likes. Right? And vice versa. Don't get me wrong. What if what she likes, you're not into that? So, we all go. <laughs> You'd have had a discussion prior. And then she'd have expressed herself. I mean, do not go in that room together or wherever you choose to go. Don't go to that place together to get this <laughs> act done blindfolded, guys. Girls, don't go yeah. blindfolded. Why are you make laugh still? No. <laughs> if you can't discuss among yourselves as adults what it is that your preferences are, what you like, what you enjoy, and come to some agreement as to whether or not you'll be able to fulfill these pleasures. Then we all go. We all go. Waste my time? Because, you know... No what? time for waste. If you can't fulfill the woman's pleasures or desires, whatever, then let her know so she'll decide if you will get the work or not. <laughs> and you move along. The same for the men. Genocide. If you can go ahead without whatever desires the person request the person have and whatever, then fine. Because there's some people who will tell you, I will do X. I'm okay with if, if it doesn't, it's not returned. That's all right. But then there are some who say, listen to me now. I this me want. So if the man no willing to give the lady what she want, me no way my go around with him there. <laughs> Straight. <laughs> you know, you're like seven days, no, no, that's the case. <laughs> not true. Real talk. Now, where was that? You distracted me. Hmm. Number five. Number five, caring about your partner's pleasure more than a technique. Hmm. So, right, so as you mentioned, no matter what the book, but, but when you try to put her so and set her so you want to try to prove the world to her in a one night. No. It's more about your effect in pleasing the partner as opposed to whether it's upside, down, sideways. So, so, so. I mean, no. Yeah. Pleasure. <laughs> On both partners' side, I'm not being biased now, on both partners' side. I'm All still right? laughing. A lot of people get anxious about sex. Okay, number five. So we say it's natural to worry about the first time and right and so on. And of course, two people, both of you, vice versa, will feel the same way. And two of you are to communicate about what it is that you want. A lot of people get anxious about sex performance but but perhaps the best quality in a lover is enthusiasm Marin says if you are genuinely enjoying pleasuring him or, or vice versa no, he'll no. notice it and he'll have a lot more fun too it's true simple questions like how does it feel and don't run a lie and do you like it when I and you fill in the blank? Yeah, give your partner a chance to express appreciation for what you're doing, or gently ask for something a little different. Okay, so dear, let's change the position. Let's try this one. Let's try that one. Don't just fling around so and fling around so like you play ball or something. Eh -eh. <laughs> as well as prompts, prompt them to oh ask you the same questions. All right. So it's a nice little thing, you know, passion is in there. Even if it's hardcore, some passion can still be in hardcore. Number six, feedback is not the same as criticism. So don't hesitate to give your feedback, right? I, I like when you do so and so and so. Um, I like it, you know, but I prefer when so and so and so. During or after? Boatman! <laughs> Boatman! If things don't go right during, you stop man and, and talk man. Discuss. Oh my goodness. Criticize. How are you do? 
I saw somebody so and so and so and so. No, don't do that. That's not nice. You're, you're going to kill him. You're going to kill him literally right there. So, oh, Lord. Yeah. A common concern is that if you tell your partner something doesn't feel good or something else would feel better, they'll feel attacked. No. But if they care about your pleasure, they'll be happy to hear how to help you feel it. That's true. In the moment, it can be hard to figure out what exactly you want. So it can be helpful to talk after the fact about what you enjoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you enjoyed, what you could do without, and what you'd like to try next time. And if you don't have an orgasm, don't feel pleasure don't feel pressured, rather, to pretend to have one. Ladies, don't fake it. Yeah? Don't, don't give the guys no false hope. Think of organism... Orga, orgasm... <clears throat> Think of orgasming... Orgasming. <laughs> Not as your responsibility, but as a fun goal to work toward with your partner or together. Number seven. Lube is your friend. Use lubricants, yeah, if you have to. Sometimes get a bad rap yes. as a sign that you're not turned on enough. Two. So if it, oh Jesus, <laughs> so if it is that you are not getting aroused enough and you have to use a lubricant, Two. get yourself. I want to punch you so hard right now. Get a lubricant and use I think it's it. what I'm drinking. <laughs> Yeah. But listen, you need to learn and what you do. Yeah. But oh, gee, that is rude. <laughs> yes, ma'am. But even if you and your DJ don't eat your body, yeah, even if you and your body are saying okay, let's do it, a little lube can make sex so much more pleasurable. Another benefit of using a water or silicone-based lube or with a condom. Avoid oil-based lube, which can degrade latex. Right? Another way benefit of using the water or silicone-based lube or with a condom is that less friction means the condom is less likely to tear. So if you're there utilizing, well, there's no lube on there, and there's just friction going on, then the condom could very well easily tear. All right? So lube helps that out. To go in smoothly and out. Eight, your partner's penis might not do everything the two of you want. Oh, mercy. That doesn't sound good. That sounds like something wrong. Anyway, whether premature ejaculation, a limp penis, how that look? <laughs> or <laughs> that <is> rude joke. <laughs> oh, you call it? Come here, come here, son. Yes. Come here. <laughs> you okay? I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or inability to orgas or to orgasm strike, it doesn't mean something <laughs> is wrong with your partner. Really? <laughs> <laughs> or you fail them somehow. Comfort with a new partner often takes time and communication. That's true. And that goes for bo- for both men and women. So because it's your first time you might not feel everything feeling so right. Things might all feel wrong. The first time with him, he might feel so small. And then after a time, you're like, oh my God, I can't manage this. <laughs> you know, so the first time, so many different things uh, are going on there. I think that's the best thing I said since I read this. Oh boy. Number nine, temper your expectations. True, true, true. Don't think because the man have on a very tight pants. And it looks <clears throat> down there does well, not necessarily mean that it is the size that it looks, or does it mean that if it is a granana you see in the pants right there, it doesn't mean it has any use. It could just be a minute long, <laughs> or two minutes and fifty seconds. Okay. Now because a girl looks. Sh- and we move right along. <laughs> now because a girl. Teen movies yes. and teen. <laughs> TV shows sold us a pretty unrealistic vision of what having sex for the first time looks like. It's always perfectly choreographed and moonlit and romantic and ends in an implied simultaneous orgasm as if. Don't expect fireworks and first time, the first time you have sex. Sex is messy and human and flawed and often 
awkward whether it's your first time or your thousandth. That's so true. It's the practice and the exploration that make sex fun. Thank, Thank you it's so over. very it's much. Over. I it's love over. both articles. Big up Juicy and Max. Juicy Max. Big up yourself, girl. I remember her since 19. You know, but I was just so in thought. I couldn't remember to say the name. Yeah, man. I remember her for true, true, true. Canada. Yep. Can yeah, you bring up the, the letter for us, please, Mr. Engineer? Yep. Thanks, guys, for listening to this one. Hmm. I cash. Check out Cosmopolitan on this cash. one, all right? This yeah, you ever wish you ever, you ever wish you can deal with the woman clothes? Our yeah, clothes? Our clothes. Because sometimes when they take off the clothes, the old boy, everything, oh, <laughs> everything Jesus gone bad in my mind. So I can't stand my co-host right Trust now. Trust me, straight up. So you can talk about man and pants and this and man and that and way, way, way. That are the real talk of the night. Now for the time, are the clothes. But the, the, the body you see in the clothes is really the body, the shape and the whatever. It's, it's all pretty much can be told right there in the clothes. Come on. Uh-uh. <laughs> Anyways, we go tonight to our letter. Hmm. They are real talk. Yes, go right ahead. I just said I just oh, did, did my part. They are real talk. I'm having a problem with my kids, and I'm trying to be as unbiased as possible. I am 38 years old, and I have a son who is 16 and a daughter 18. Both of them are doing well for themselves academically, and even though their father and I aren't together, he still makes his presence felt. I'm not ashamed to say that I was his extramarital partner, and we brought these beautiful kids in this world. My daughter is very close to her father, and he he gives her a a lot of attention and (laughs) protection. Recently, he found out that she failed two tests and took away a phone he bought her, saying she's distracted by a boy in her class and always, I'm sorry, and also wants me to be more strict. Yeah, my little loss. On the other hand, he also has a daughter by his wife, 18, but a few months younger than my daughter. Well, shut up. That's been rebellious and spoiled. Uh, That's she's not doing very well in school, but has potential. Mm. My son is good in both athletics and academics, and his father allows him to have girlfriends. Oh, you mean pops? Sorry. See the matey have good. While I want to be a grandmother. She want to be? While I don't rather want to be a grandmother anytime soon, this double standard is causing problems for me, and it will for me too. I understood <laughs> that boys, or I, I understand that boys will be boys, but I also want to see my daughter happy. Not even at the gate yeah, girl, her school. father wants to see any male. Hold on there. I was 16. The boy is 16. And the girl how much? 18. Okay, no man. Let me read on here. You must be mad. You must be mad. It's a foolishness. Did me agree with the man? Even for me, I have to keep my relationship with males a secret. What do you mean? Be it intimate or platonic. What do you mean? Um, hold on. Um, the man and, and she still together? She said no. Uh, <laughs> this is serious. This one more people. Even <laughs> though his wife and I naturally have bad history, I mean, me too. she won't accept the fact that my kids are her stepkids. Oh, yeah, but I don't have an issue with her daughter bonding with my kids. Yeah, go to man, me too. I try to encourage my stepdaughter to be a better child, but this doesn't always go well with either of our parents. Yeah, How mind. do you suggest I deal with this? Should I also isolate my kids from her, from hers? Should I give my daughter the freedom she deserves and override her dad's. father's or dad's orders? Orders. 
Sticky. I like this woman on many grounds. I am mean. But I hate her on one. <laughs> because she take for herself on one piece of guinea pig. Why you say that? No. This dude. Yeah. Had his wife. Has. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> Even worse. Has his wife. Yeah. He entered into an extramarital relationship with a woman. She entered into it too. Okay, they entered an yeah. extramarital relationship. Had other kids. Yeah. yeah. One before him and his wife. Yeah. Was it before? They didn't say man the picnic um few months younger than fear daughter. Is it a few months younger? Yeah. Why did I get older? Yes, call her on the nine five four. Hello, Carla. Good night. Yeah. I knew it was you, you know. They, they know Mr. Sam two weeks no man. And I, I wonder if you're coming to aggravate my spirit or cheer me up. No, man. No, man. We haven't seen each other for two weeks. I got to be gentle with you. Okay. Nice to yes, know. Nice to know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Danny. Hey, what's, what's your yeah. take? You see, you see what the writer say? Mm -hmm. the, two, the two daughters, they, they, they actually banned already, you know? Sure. Really? So, yeah. You, you know, so the two daughters know each other. Hmm. I, 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 you know, get that? I hear you. Don't I'm going to pick it up. Yeah. So. Eh? Me I hear it, you, me, yeah, me, man. For the two of them in a diaper, for them apart. Yes, man. It, 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 yeah, them know, them know each other. Mm -hmm. So... So, so the 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 um the we are calling out we are calling out but our our step by thing that whatever you like side side kids outside outside kids outside yeah but these don't like inside kids go on still so you see so you see, so see, see not nothing outside but them um um but them people ah uh, me pick up that road boy yeah so 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 you have to you have to read the man. Yeah. And you have to, I, 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 yeah. <laughs> he really, I, he really, I. <laughs> yes, Dan, I'm really listening to you. So you, you see, you see the thing I wish I talk about, say, uh, her daughter, or or the or the man treat her daughter and and wife daughter different, mm -hmm. even though they might do um, worse in a, in a school or whatever. Sure. It could, it's it's likely that the the man probably check check for. You. For, for, the, for the writer and, and the daughter at the side of the, that side of his family then he probably check for the side of the family more than he check, check for the, um, the, the marital family why would you say that? possibility I, li I like where you're going sir no because because as the girl said Dan 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 hold on keep your thought right there make us go to the break don't up here Alright, cool. Alright, hold on. It is now 11.30, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to a break. The time is brought to you by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio and Stage Equipment Services. We'll soon forward. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 It's time to rock We're gonna be rocking Jamaican radio Like it has never been rocked before Now it's six point one in your FM man Styles FM Don't you miss it Saturday morning from 9 o'clock Until 1 on the PM Yours truly calling Anthony the man with all the money on it Takes the way with the music Yeah, Styles trivia News, features and much more Got it in store, don't you miss it every Saturday morning live on Styles 96.1, the People Station. We've got a plan, you've got a plan. Call in Anthony. 
native audio and equipment rental services, now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party, or even club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native audio and equipment rental services, proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and Rel Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent, seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. Welcome back to the final half hour of Real Talk. And we have our good friend, Dan Dan, online, 954. And, and, and Dan, Dan, I'm sure, Dan Dan, I'm sure you were enjoying the behind-the-scenes chat a while ago, right? I, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dan, Dan, no doubt you were. All right, so let's hear your take. Back on air. Mm. Not about the after-air stuff, Please, no, you know. Please, right, right, right. <laughs> Come on, come on. You know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so hear me now. So, 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 so the, the, the man have a preference for the um, for the for the young girl. I call it. I call it a young girl because she have she has a daughter when she was twenty, right? Oh, that. And yeah. chances are, chances because she had thirty eight and a daughter. Right, yeah? right. Yeah, and chances are the wife the wife is older than than her. Yes, chances are. Yeah. So you know, if the wife older, so, so so she so so, so she, she might be ready for, to to be a grandmother, you know. And so so if if, if the wife starts a one 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 bad, it, it, it never really check 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 for that like that. I mean, it's not about stepping like like like, like when we are stepping pan pan a girl or daughter, you know. Mm -hmm. Because um, you know, she don't express her. She never really, she not ready to become a a, a grandmother. So the man I do everything um, for. for, for to accede to your wishes, I'm trying not, not to make you become my grandmother. Yeah, but 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 Dan Dan, the girl. I would expect yeah. that any father would want to deal with and operate with, or let me not say deal with, because children are different. You deal with them differently, somewhat sometimes. I want to think that a father would have similar sentiments expressed for his children, and his two girls who are pretty much the same age. I can't fathom yes. why it is that he would seemingly low up, quote unquote, one, and be acting all concerned about the other one. I think it's more controlling than anything else. Because you have two 18 year old daughters, treat the two of them, respond to them in a way where you, they understand what you're expecting from them. If the one who's misbehaving is, I expect him to do something do all he can to help to gear her in the right way the other one who is performing well in school ashima she can't talk to nobody no nah, man she, it, 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 they go feel two subjects how are you dealing with no nah, man but no nah, what are them what what are the girls gonna feel at the boy at the boy at the boy at the star well well no the, no, no 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 the, the two of them the the, 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 the girl i go and go till till apparently she, she buck up man Yes, yes. So, so that, that, that's like right now. So she. But at eighteen, bit, at eighteen, Dan, Dan yeah. gearing, steering her, and advising her, and giving her periodic talks and stuff like that, should be able to help to guide her back on track. If it is that she's a child who's really, really doing well in school, telling her she can't have friends and she taking her, taking her the phone, which sometimes you probably can do that. Yes, but. Confiscating the, the phone permanently. She can't have no friends. She can't talk to nobody. She, that's like, no man, I'm extreme. This person is almost an adult. No man. Yeah, but but what but what I know, what I know, what I know. It, and the boy is just so know, perfect. Is the boy so perfect that he can get away with blue murder at sixteen? The boy a sports star and plus him bright. I want to. Yeah. And he's a perfect so, so child. In, so in can't have him. In, in can't have him girlfriend. Yeah. Just, just like the mother said, in can't have him girlfriend just like that because. Oh, oh hold on, Dan, 
than that. So if I'm a star, athletic star, because them care, them care enough girls, I can tell you. It's what they call a stud. So this stud, this young stud at 16, it's okay to have a girlfriend whom he could very well impregnate. Because he must shatter like yeah, that. Clear, clear. Hold on, man. Hold on, let me ask you a question. If it's okay me, me, for the son to you, floss, me answer you, me answer you, me the answer. son to floss and yes. carry on and have all the girls in the world, and then the very same son could very well bring well, baby, <laughs> come give him for the with. Right. No, man. I'm biased. I'm biased, and I'm going to stop it. In our, no, hold on, hold on. In our, in our society, in our society, you find teenage pregnancy among girls more than than boys. Look here, look here, Dan Dan. This Mr. height, Mr. Moore, this Mr. Mr. Moore, height, Mr. Moore, Mr. Moore, Mr. whether more or even or less, I'm saying it God, is not justifying it. I, it's not justifying. Get, they're impregnated by by, man, by men who are not teenagers. I agree, but we're not justifying it. The same way wrong for women, those girls to go out there and get pregnant by older men. It is equally wrong for a young man who can't mind one picnic. Get that girl pregnant, see me. Where my care, baby, go? Like, seriously? You said wrong? You said wrong? W-R-O-N-G, wrong? Yes! Inappropriate. So, him can't freely, at 16, not because it's age of consent here, Um, it's not okay for him to freely go out there and have girlfriend as him feel like because he might perform good in a school. He, he needs then to also reward. be guided. No, but a reward. He needs uh, to also be guided. No, no, no. I, I listen to me. That one you, that one you won't go back to parenting school here, man. A, hold on. Now. No, no. It is not a reward system, you know. The fact that he, the fact that he, he can, he can balance. In, uh, you, you can't say he can balance in school and, and in athletics properly because he must stay on a board. So you, you have to assume that um, he, he, he has a, he has a handle on life right now where. In yeah, play, but you're not gonna go out there and throw a girl. But you're not gonna throw girls in his lap and say, "Hey, you're doing well in school. You can run so fast like you same boat." So guess what? Here, girl left, girl right, girl center. No. Uh, no, no, hold on, no, no. Is that the That's what you're suggesting. That's what you're all suggesting to me. Can I have me. girlfriend? Look here, man. <laughs> Look, what? Look, man, when I, when I was 16, I'm... I, Just say I'm, you can have girlfriends. You can have friends, okay? Everybody needs friends. The 18-year-old girl needs her friends, too. Not the boy. So the one, the one or two, something that she fail, you guide her, you monitor her. You tell her, say, look here, no man. You say, get yourself together and get this thing up, you know, because you have to pass these exams. No more failing thing now, work out. Talk to her and deal with her, deal with because she's, she's almost an adult. What I'm saying is, don't say it's okay for him to have girlfriends because he's performing then because she failed two subjects it's not okay to have any friends at all be it boyfriend or whomever she can't have no friends at all she can't even gotta get to talk to her friend or no that's like uh, imprisonment uh, okay what 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 justification should he tell that son why he should have a girlfriend tell me why ah uh, good question i did not say he couldn't have a girlfriend i am saying the uh, sentiment i'm getting is holding. you are telling him okay go right ahead do whatever because you're performing no that should not be the message being sent to him that's all i'm saying because believe it uh, or not you might have girlfriend you know you might have girlfriends if you ask me well, right. hey, that's the rule. That's the rule. Interpret inter 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 clear, clear, I try to say. Oh. Me? Me can I last now? Go back to the letter, please. Clear, 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 clear right now. I flip the double standard. There is a <laughs> double standard, Dan Dan, and it is not fair. It isn't fair. But, All right. So you say, uh, if you have one girlfriend. Wait a second. So, and she, if you have a boyfriend. Both of, but, I mean, both of them need their <laughs> friends. And I'm not I'm talking about boyfriend now or girlfriend. I'm talking about friends. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Look, all right. Real, real life now. Real life now. No, no, okay. Real life now. Take a survey. So, in a, so, in a, so tell me something, Dan Dan. You right. believe, say, hold on there. No, you believe, say, because this girl failed. She's doing so well in school. But she, so for some reason, she, has, she had two failures. Maybe it was a boy or not. Maybe they were just hard subjects. Yeah? You're telling me that if this girl now failing two subjects, here say she can't have no friends. Her, her little boyfriend she had before, she had uh, to go dump no, him. No, no, no. You think that way, have a situation? No, no. That, that, that is not to say she can't have no friends. When she see her, her, her 60 year old brother, I, carry, I have and girls uh, on the message. place. No, no, he's trying to send a message. He's trying to send a he's message. He's not sending it the right way. <laughs> 
he's not sending the message the right way. He's what? turning her. What is the right way? What is the, what is the right way? Clear. What, what he's doing clear. is what? not the right way. Clear. What is the message you might try to send? You know the message he's trying to send. Failure is not accepted. It's unacceptable. So you're telling me that telling her, fine, that's the only way and the, or the best way to show her that failure is unacceptable. By taking away her cell phone at 18. Of course. By uh, not allowing her to interact. Yeah? So like pretty much she's not prison now. At 18 years old, no, she's not prison, you know. But our 16 year old brother. Yeah, clear. 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 You know, you know, eighteen year old. I, I got use, I, I got use her phone. For do what? Send pic. All right. <laughs> <laughs> to do what? To do what? <laughs> so hold on, dear. So what does sixteen year old boy use people you to do? Receive. What does the sixteen year old boy? Am I receive it? Look receive. here, Dan, 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 listen to me. <laughs> And listen to me. You and Rude, listen to me. Both male uh, and female send and receive pics. Oh and a woman goodness. alone send and man receive. No, who should see talk? Man oh. send two and women receive two. Oh when, my. when am I 18 even send? Yeah. Right now you ask me when am I 16. Oh, come on. All right, Cleo. When you, were, when you were 18, Cleo, Cleo, when you were 18. I didn't have a cell phone. You, I didn't have a cell phone. Did you... Did it, did you did you have to like dodge to to, to have a boyfriend? Is, did you have to do that? At eighteen, no. You know six form. I lie, my tell. I didn't do six form. I went to fifth form and then went to college. At the what year age? After. Dan, Dan, I lie, my tell ya. Later, ya road boy. <gasps> no, I didn't have to dodge, and I, I don't remember eighteen having a boyfriend either. You know, people that you like, but you know, somebody you like or so, but never he, have a here, boyfriend. He, here's a question. Mommy say, my boyfriend here. He, no, he, that wasn't he, the case. He, here's a question I want to ask you. What's your view about the mother? I the writer. The mother is not firm enough on one as it relates to probably the child to an extent. Which of them? I don't have enough info on the children and she to, to, to specify, but... I, I don't think she's firm enough. Well, I know. I don't think she's firm enough in probably in the way she deals with probably the daughter, maybe. But I also think she's worse. I think she's worse where the man is concerned. Because she not live for her life, you know. She'll live her life surrounding the man. Life seems, she's still hooked on this extramarital partner story because this man can't tell she what to do in the sense of her personal life. I'm not saying he shouldn't guide her about no, the children. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I not agree with her party. No. Hold on, listen. Read the bottom part. I know, and, and what she's saying in my interpretation of that, right? Because she said, even for me, I have to keep my relationship with males a secret, be it intimate or platonic. No, oh, the I, hell, hold on there. How oh, the hell you going to tell me as a big man must keep my you never platonic tell her that. relationship? You never tell her that. Secret? You never tell her that. She it's, said, it's implied right no, there. Man. What the man said, the man I said, no one, a man I yard. That the man I say. So hold on, you know. If the woman is seeing somebody, mm. him having wife and them, him and mm. him wife, no, hold on, you, the you man. Can't, you can't hold on. Like, nah, man. Hold on. Made you it don't there, man. control me, me because me, we had an extramarital relationship hold on, the man. together. Me, made it there. And obviously, I'm still around the yard. You're yeah, joking, That's obvious man. because right now. Man, you're putting them, them, don't run the my man. yard. Man, you're putting them, but no, don't but, run my no, yard. No, but you can't come in a man. You, you can't in a man come in a yard. You can't dictate well, my then. life to me. Look, Who are you? Look, 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 look what she say. She say, no. Well, on, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there. My son. Even for me, right? Well, no. Let's pick up from that part. With males. Males. My relationship with males. Why are you in a bag of man, 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 run my daughter for? Say she was gonna do that. He is dictating to her that she mustn't have any male friends at all. No platonic. No, no, for bring even, them come at the yard. No, she has no, to no. hide them. It did not say bring them to the yard. She said specifically. No, the, the line before. No, the, li the, the, the line before. Right. The I understand that boys will be boys, but but what I mean. I also what want I mean? to see my daughter happy. Not even at the gate. Her father wants to see any. Male. 
Look here, man. So it no matter whether whether she. Look, a rubbish that. That's so a yeah. rubbish. Call us, please. Call it on the nine five four three three eight seven nine seven three or the four five three one triple four. Please, may I beg you? Look here. That's a foolishness. The, the, see that the man a play so an important role. See that the last time he still both of them. Am an idiot? Well, Anna, that man is an both, idiot. Both of them. He's um, a control freak. Both of them are doing well he for themselves academically. Freak. Even though their father and I are together, he still makes his presence Did felt. he know that this girl could become very rebellious because of his actions? No, no, can't do that. Well, are you, the I, man, I read a story once where say, the cleaner said, the star said says, the girl was peppered it's a, because my she daughter, decided to go. My daughter is very close with her father and he gives her a lot of attention and protection. Important. So, yes, 954. Very important, but... Down the bottom, it is. I'm coming to the 954. Down the bottom, it is ridiculous that he's suggesting that this 18 year old girl should not have any friend. No, because not, no, 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 no. Cause she, she feel. Paid. So if he's so close to her, why not give her advice? 954. Yeah, man. You. It, 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 when the man, when the man, no, 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 no milk when he gets, you know, it, it's only for the daughter, it's not, it's not for the mother, you know. Excuse me? Did you hear the last part no. there? No. Did when, you hear what when, she did you father, hear what she said? No, 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 no. And further after it's that, it's she said, it's even it's for it's me, I have to keep my male my relationship with males a secret, be it intimate or platonic. He is a control freak. Kalanga ruling yard within family, within wife. Nothing for Kalanga do. May the woman have her freedom to choose who she wants to be with. What should I be a baby mother? Oh really? So he wants to come have him kick her into this Hold on. But clear. Him, no, but him can't him cannot him, him cannot try and manage her with the kids and she so lose lose. It and as, a, she she wants to be in that situation. She's an idiot, idiot too. She's a fool too. Oh. This woman must be able to move on with her life, have her partner. She has a man that she's dating. She's go, seen yo. the person, the man oh. and her together, oh. living their life together. That Dan, should Dan. be okay. How dear him. Look here. Oh dear him. No, no, I'm not, not, not calling her a fool now, no. But 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 she she obviously um like her situation that she's in. Or else she, she wouldn't she wouldn't unite unite for all that. Well was she asking what, 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 what we must do then? Is no, man. She, she must, Why is she then asking for suggestion? This man run fair, Ed. At the double standard she asked about. No, no. Yeah, the same thing. She asked, but the ma- she, she can't tell the man that look, I should be free. To do what I choose. Oh, no. she, she wants a suggestion on on the parenting part, not not about that. Ah, uh, uh, thank you. Part. Okay, well she needs to ask the man. But Dan Dan, can I ask the man what to do because he has what, all the what, answers what, clearly? What, what's your view based based on the whole scenario? Wherein wherein that say, obviously she had her child. He, he did married. But she get the picnic first and a little bit after the wife get the picnic and then she get the next picnic after. What's your view on what would have been happening? 20 years ago. But, Mephisa, I really, she was the wife. And the wife was who? Look to me. She was the wife, and, and, and the one who, who was the wife was probably the, the um, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> you your feel say, like, you know, now all the people that want born, because she said, boy, you know, she's not ashamed to say that it was, um, I was his extramarital partner. No, no, I'm not for retire. I'm not for retire because because it 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 it's going. It lasts, and and obviously, from from our appearances, she not call on rockers. She not call on rockers for the man life. We not think so. Oh. She, well, she, in the last part, she said, "Boy, um, she kind of knows say there was some rough edges with she and the lady, you know." Yeah, but yeah, but but she not do that like that. Because like, naturally, yeah, because she, she kind of accept the picnic, but look like said the other woman no one fear picnic about. Mm. Anyway, what well, well, next caller come in here? Yeah, man, cool. All right. The other daughter was before her daughter. No, she, it see that the it, first daughter was before her daughter. No, after and, man. On the other hand, he also has a daughter by his wife, bracket eighteen, but a few months younger than my daughter. Okay. So the daughter that he has is much younger. Okay, hold on. Um, nine five four. Good night. Cameron is the army but to our own own the woman. It. Good night. Good night. How you doing? Sonic a careless man. Thank you. Oh. 
Kill it. Cross is man. <laughs> Cross is man for true, my love. Cross is plus tax. Cross is. And that's why we tell man, say, weak man can't manage strong women. I'm going to share that kill is this too. I, you know, let me tell you, I'm sitting down here listening, you see. And you see, I don't want done that I'm going to give the wife to that one one time. And I can't talk to them because I don't know. They didn't care about it. You remember that in the so that man came and talked to the guy, I can't relate. <laughs> you know, I don't see, I don't see this note. Um, I honestly think this woman, she, 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 her, her part of it, I guess she don't want to find out, she don't want a solution for her part of it. You know. She, she wants a solution on the child's part of it. Um, the, the children, I honestly think it is healthy for them to have a relationship. Um, as, 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 as children. But, I'm confused now because who they are wife and who they are sweetheart and me not, me, the whole something just chaka chaka if you can use a word of DJ chaka chaka but yeah. uh, what, 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 what I'm picking up you see uh, but I'm wondering if it is just she, she's doing it by is it by nature that say hey, look you know yes him have a youth and you know him youth must come around my, my, my kids because told me I said she have a part the last part was saying should I um also isolate my kids from, from hers her. so, so, it so, it, so, so, so it so it look like say, behavior causing her no, to this way now no so it look like say the the wife don't want her side of the kids and go by the yakash i said boy hey she won't accept the fact that my kids are her step kids so when no one no no the man and any of them still together him and the wife obviously together. him and, him and the wife and he won't control the other one same way I see what I run to the two yards. Yeah. You know where he wants to do us or something? What? You know where he hear about. <laughs> the population reached, the, you know where I'm a single daddy road? Uh -uh. The population reads seven and three quarter woman to one man. And you want me to tell you the truth, what the older man from me said, there are six and three quarter women have to go be with each other. I don't understand why that man knows. <laughs> but I have him why. A two yard, he might not have enough. Yeah. No, if the two women are smart, the two of them just make up together now. Friend each other and stretch him out somewhere and beat him. <laughs> and that's why this kind of situation, because guess what? No, let me tell you what the cycle turn. You see, those girls, those girls are going to know that any man have them can have 10 other women. And I saw the cycle continues, you know. And DG, the, where he's channeling to me is, is, is wrong because clearly his other daughter who is clearly. Head sick, mad, and doing fear of one thing. She's also 18. Okay. Him can't control she clearly, but then him want to control the one who is more well behaved. Yeah? Because she feel too little subject. How about trying to get control for the one by out of control? Then we always pour up on Blackboard for. Oh, a fiend Blackboard. You know, love that same way. A fiend Blackboard and a fiend stepping in. A fiend pitney. I want to talk to him. Slap him. <laughs> You understand? I mean, he needs to understand that clearly, very well, DG. It yes, could be oh no. that this other child, because they're close, you know, the two girls are close. It could very well be that this child is causing her to be this, so distracted. And I must not boy cause it. I can't do one sister cause it. And he's not seeing that in the sitting two girls down, get counseling for them and whatever and talk with them. Since he's so close to this one with, 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 the, with the extramarital story, he's so close to her and gives her attention and protection, blah, 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 so, blah, blah. Yeah. How about sitting down with the other one, giving her the same protection and attention, give her on the right track as a father what? so that she come on course? You want to do well loose like... Oh, egg, loose like when you're like a goat, goat in a field. <laughs> and him can't control she, but him want to take the other one. No, but, all right, but let me ask a question, Rubbish right? Man. But, but, hold well, on, I want to ask you something. The lady say, you know, anytime she tries to encourage fear stepdaughter, which are the other, the loose one, it, um, she kind of gets some bad energy from both the pupa and exactly the mama. Exactly, a woman now, man. Well, well, no, she asked the question, if she feels just left the picnic alone, what she feel do? Leave it alone. I wouldn't tell her to do that. What? I would tell her. And then why would he expect, why would he expect her as a good mother then to not try to encourage his own child? What kind of man him be? Because she accepts that she has stepmother just exactly. the same. Exactly. She has stepmom just, just the same. Well, him just want a film cake and eat it. I want give him two lick right now. I swear. I know. Well, well, because me know that I'm alone. Other listeners out there are confused too. The one, the, the little pitney where we are word, are the wife pitney? Yes. The sweetheart pitney are the one where would be even, but the father sleep on it. Yeah. Right. 
Okay. The one with we are word, this the, the stepmother, one for help curve she. Yes. yes. That was she reach out this. You see, me know what she had tried to prove or what she had tried to take over. No, uh, what? Me hold on, know. DJ. Yeah. Eh? Here what me pick up. Because she have a part where she say, boy, them close, you know, the kids, them close. Me feel like, that's why I ask Dana the question, you know. When you look at the age group of all three picnic, not more than three of them grow together undercover. I'm polygamy. I'm polygamy. I'm polygamy. No, we're not getting to that part there. Polygamy. <laughs> not, not, more, not, more, not more than now and then when Prama push. Oh Lord. When Prama push, a tree pit now pushing a pram. I want to have a dandan. Um, I feel say the, 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 the two daughters them grow like. Dandan know about it, man. Then grow like twin. You know, if you ask that. Because if you see what me, I daddy, when me a shop, me buy everything in a two. Straight up. So why is it then that she is not allowed if they are so close? Why isn't she allowed to speak and try to guide the child? Why is he objecting to that? Maybe the man says something. See what? Yeah. Well, on. Maybe the man, yeah. b- like, b- but like what you said, to, uh, you said, you know, maybe, maybe say, the man says the other one might have started to have an influence panning good up, good up data. Yeah, so why is he, why is he having a problem with the, with the mother trying to help her? Me, me, maybe okay. shouldn't he then fall into place since you want to run two yards, run the two yard then no? No, maybe he might do it. Uh, maybe he might do it them. under duress. Eh. The wife a cause. Wife a cause. Yeah. Yes. So how she know say the cause problem there so when he might control two yards because he's a man and him said no boy now come a gate and no man come a yard. And yeah. When when I try to prove me not understand him, him confusing me. But I'm the, I don't even want, want to confuse it. I know you want everybody there's a confuse. But I'm just wondering if people nowadays that means the people really and truly more acceptable than we think. Because if the wife and the sweetheart, there's a common understanding somewhere there, you know, why the sweetheart see that she has the authority to be even trying to scold the wife's child. So there's a common understanding growing up as, as daddy mm-hmm. rule say. That for like her, just accept everybody. Me not, me not, no, obviously the wife not accept the, the wife thing. She not accept. The, she be the, the same way. The wife not deny it, but naturally, listen, we can't look on the pan certain way because if we remember what's a boy, um, when they say the community for grow the child. So yeah, but not the sweetheart. <laughs> we done. We done, yeah. We done. <laughs> we All right, DJ. This is a fair loose, like one cannot double D for the chore. I that tell you, boy. Uh, All right. All right. <laughs> I don't think she should isolate her kids. They are sisters and brothers. It is what it is. A spade is a spade. Should I give my daughter the freedom she deserves and override her father's Yeah, that part of the key, you know. No. Know. If it is that she the, the, and her the, father, the man take with the phone. How about him and this mother and this daughter who failed to subject sitting down and having a union with them discuss certain things and expectations? When you just take, since you're closer close to her, but then clearly the mother and seem tied because it's like she isn't she's not able to be a mother. She must only go by what him say. And anything him say goes i don't get that if you're so close to your daughter and you give her protection and attention then sit with her mother whether you're together or not sit with her mother and have a discussion as a family because you're still a family on that side too right don't just isolate her boy can do this boy can do that but she know and the bad daughter quote unquote bad daughter can't can, can do what she want to do clearly but then she know who doing her best but because she failed fail is a part of life but how you deal with it after Right? Don't don't outcast her because she failed two subjects. And then she can't talk to no male. She can't this, she can't that. You're going to send her to one different level, you know. But and then the mother, if she won't have a man to so, get married so, to one day. So to discipline. Hold on, man. I am, I am for discipline 1,000%. I think he might have the first man with um, parent with take with the pitney phone. I'm not saying no, but what I'm saying, he's biased. I am sure the wayward daughter, as DG, say, have her phone. And can talk to who she want to talk to. Maybe the mama, maybe the mama just yeah. So you know you have some you have some, but some woman too, in your life. She just too slight. No, this one too slight. If it is that I am no longer with you for whatever reason, and I choose to have a partner now as my 
fiance, whatever. Later on, we get married. How dare you tell me, say, me can't date nobody because you don't want no meal at all. Me, if me, I have a me, co-worker me, 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 who call me and react me, or come listen, to the house me, for some hold reason, on, hold on. I can't relate me to understand them. where I say I'm agree Crazy, with you, but, 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 but here what happened now, maybe the man have a certain type of regime where I try to set and regime. the man don't no want a man coming at the picture. Come. Set regime your yeah with your bad picnic. <laughs> set regime is a force. <laughs> we set regime somewhere, somewhere else. Right. No, but a female yard is technically too. Two yard naga work. No, but in can just loose up the thing. So because remember, your teacher say you hypocrite road. Look <laughs> how me there you are listen good all night. You say, well, yes sir. You sir, get him clear. Get him long. T- oh. Talk. <laughs> listen to the whole night. Right, your Keisha. Let's see what what else is there quickly. All the time, pretty much. Um. Hmm. Shelly says, Daddy road and Dandan uh infuriate me. <laughs> Part of me wondering, wondering if the man, if he's the man, kids, he might watch and lock her down suspiciously. Real talk. Next one quickly, you see? You're, you're on alone tonight. You're not alone. Mm-hmm. Oh, which man that clear? I'm um, Shelly Avop. Let's see now. This one says, Grace says, DG, I make you get more coof than me. <laughs> 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 so how come the other daughter can feel but aim no punish she? Thank you very much. Thank you no. Hmm. Juicy Max. We get that one already. DG says Dan Dan Clear go kill you. <laughs> they have us enemy but we are friend you know. Juicy Max says good night. Yes girlfriend we see you. Next one quickly. Um, that's it, pretty much, and we're out of time. Thanks to all you people who have been texting in. But really and truly, this man in Fuka saw taught himself and him yard with him bad picnic and leave the poor <laughs> little girl who just feel too little something, something, something. What you need to do is monitor the other one, forget her back on track, and guide she who already on track. She just have to feel too little subject. Guide her and talk with her since, since you're all that close and all these things. Don't punish her and can't punish the one who not going with nothing. And the wife who not going with nothing can do whatever she want to do. But the lady at the other house now, we have your daughter. Mm-hmm. You want to tell her what to do, who to talk to, who to invite home, who you be. Who you be, your pain bills there or not. Cassidy. Yeah? Cassidy. And if that be the case, my girl, go pay your own bill somewhere else. Same can make you live, live your own life. Him too out of order and bright. Cassidy, this hmm. is the first time, this is the first time for the, for the years we had a real talk with Lady Cleo. That Cleo actually took two minutes for to talk patwa consistently. <laughs> I like you. Guys, <laughs> 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 you're out of time. <laughs> 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 that one, I'm here. Omarion Candace says, nice show again, real. Ontario for most wanted. Big up yourself. Big up, big up. So I, right. want, I want, I want, um, in closing, I want to remind everyone that Fan Fusion is the 8th of 8th July. 8th of July. Right, um, get, it, get your tickets. And listen, overseas peeps, if you want to reach Fan Fusion and can't reach Fan Fusion, look. You know, contribute, make a, um, make a give away some armbands to people. You see what I say? Just link me up at 2869216. Right? That's 2869216. That's Sandra number or 439-5160. That's my number. And see so how we can arrange, you know, for we just start out some giveaways. Just contribute and we'll start out some giveaways on air. So, Fan Fusion, the 8th of July. Um, Bayview Waterfront property known as Oysters Bay. It's going to be crazy. Oh, goodness. I'm just seeing all my peeps, my friends who are texting me via social media. Big up yourself, those silent listeners and watchers who listen to the show and watch the show and don't say a word until probably afterwards. Big up yourselves. And thank you all so very much for tuning in to Real Talk on yep. behalf of our engineer, Cassidy, who just gives me the looks at times and wondering, what should I talk say? Huh? What should I just say? Yeah. And my crazy co-host, this is your <clears throat> sane Lady Cleo saying until next Friday, until the next TGIF, let me just say to you, 
good night and do have yourselves a great weekend. Yep. Do have yourselves a wonderful week, a safe one, a blessed one, a prosperous one. And I can't wait till the summer really rolls in in full when's, when's swing gonna to be all the teachers. We're out July 7th. July 7th? Yeah, about three more weeks to go or and, four. And the, and the eighth. And yes. we can't wait. And the eighth is fan fusion. Oh, yeah. Of course. Oh, yeah. Listen, make sure all your teacher friends them line up, you know. So, mm-hmm. um, may have 30 more armband for you. Oh, we are sure. Mm-hmm. So, big ups to everybody who tuned in tonight and those who texted and everything. We love you guys so very much. And we keep doing this show just for you because, after all, you're the ones who really, really make real talk really possible so yep. until next week we are out of here it's now about ooh seven minutes past the hour of 12 to have yourselves a great one bye yep. y'all we got wife for life <laughs>